Hey everybody, uh, this is Jason. And this is Joaquin. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, thank you for tuning in to the first episode of our podcast. We really appreciate it. Uh, we're just doing a quick little intro before the intro because um, it's, well, today is approximately March 3rd. Um, this first episode was recorded, I don't even, I don't even know when. November? Bef- yeah. I'm pretty sure it was November. It was, it was before Christmas. I know that it much. Was a, it was a while before Christmas. It was before like Black Friday because we had that too. Oh yeah, we were talking about Black. No, I think it was after Black Friday. Were we talking about what we did on Black Friday in that episode? I don't know. I haven't listened to the episode in a while. It isn't even edited. Yet. Oh, the, I, I keep forgetting because there's like 15 first episodes. Yeah, we've done like a bunch of first episodes, but um, there the reason behind it is just because there was a bunch of uh things that that came up regarding uh, just getting stuff. It, like in terms of like the logo and music and stuff like that so uh but we finally have pretty much everything we're still waiting on one song uh we're very thankful for zach flanagan for helping us out with the music but we're still waiting for one more song we have something to fill where that song's going it's the i, I might as well say which song it is because i mean they'll know by this mm-hmm. episode that you know when the music is done but for the what's going on uh we're still waiting for the official what's going on song but we have like a something to still put there that zach did send us so, uh, but we have enough to kind of get a first episode going. Um, so yeah, we, so we're going to release it and then hopefully for now on all the episodes will be up to date. Like a lot of the stuff that we talked about in this episode, you know, it might be like, I think we talked about some movies and stuff that were coming up. A lot, a lot of those movies have already come out and stuff, and right. stuff like that. So, uh, but yeah, so from here on out, we should be up to date with stuff. You got, you got anything else, I, else to add? No, not really. You, you said it pretty it's well. Kind of summed it up. Oh, yeah. All right. There, I'm a man of few words when it comes to yeah, intros. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've been get we we've had like an itch to record another podcast. We've been really trying to get everything together for this. So uh, hopefully you enjoy it. It's it's of course the first episode, so it's not going to be perfect. I again I forget about like half the stuff that we talked about, but you know we're still kind of getting the the kinks uh, smoothed out. Mm-hmm. But hopefully for now, I'm not going to set like a date. I'm not saying like weekly or biweekly and stuff, but we're going to try. You know, maybe every couple of weeks or so to to get one out so uh so yeah thanks for tuning in hopefully uh you stay through for the for the whole ride mm-hmm. and uh and you enjoy and you'll you know join us for the next episode which will be up to date oh okay you're grabbing the fiji yeah i'm grabbing well the fiji. Don't, don't open it yet they'll just pretend that we're opening it at the beginning of because it opens at the beginning of the episode so don't open it and we'll just because we open it at the beginning of the episode and it'll just seem like we opened it like it's well it will seem like it's the same day oh like a seamless transition yeah, like a seamless transition. Okay. But uh but yeah, thanks uh thanks for everybody once again and uh enjoy the show. Hey everybody, welcome to the Potato Cast. Uh, I'm one of your co-hosts, Jason Elzendre, and my co-host, uh, Joaquin Matthews. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Fiji Water, which features drank. And by brought to you, I mean we bought some Fiji Water, and we're drinking it. They are not sponsoring us. They probably will never sponsor us, but one can dream.
I hope you all of you are having a wonderful day today. Uh, I know that I'm having a pretty pretty decent day. I don't know about you, Joe Quinn. No. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is, welcome to the, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the first episode. might be the second episode. Who knows? But probably the first. We recorded one last, no, two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was like a Thanksgiving-ish type themed episode. It wasn't like themed, but like we talked about Thanksgiving and Black Friday and stuff. But it's like three weeks past Black Friday slash Thanksgiving, two or three. Um, I think it's like three at this point. I don't, I'm not good at math, but no, I think it's two. Two? I think so. Okay. Well, still, it's like it. It's weeks have passed since uh, Black Friday slash Thanksgiving. So we figured uh, we haven't. So we didn't upload that episode because we don't have the music yet. Um, our friend Zach is still working on it. Hopefully, it's going to be great. Obviously, you guys have heard it by now if it is playing over this episode. Um, we haven't heard it now, like at this point. So, hopefully, it's good. But, yeah, so we figured might as well make this the first episode because we, you know, keep it keep it up to date. But right. We want to thank you guys for uh, tuning in, and hopefully, you guys enjoy, and you'll stick around for uh, this this ride. Is there anything else you want to add for the opening, Joaquin? No, that was pretty much it. We're getting really, like, proficient at the opening. Before, like, it would take us, like... It'd be like a 10-minute opening of us just talking about, like, our trials and tribulations of uh, getting to this point. Because we've been doing this for, like, or trying to get this done for two years. But now, like, because we've done it so many times, it's just light work. It's just really quick, boom, 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 and we're done. Yep, and we're never going to have to talk about it again. Yeah, unless, you know, next week comes around and we do another first episode. No. Okay. No. Well, you're going to have to talk to Zach. This is all on Zach, really. I'll yell at Zach. Don't do that. He's a nice guy. I'm still going to yell at him. <laughs> okay. He's being a cashier. That, that's like my job. Oh. Oh, you're going to yell at him like, stop taking my job. No, I'm going to be like, you're doing this wrong. Oh, okay. Like, just <laughs> cashiering in general? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, do like, that. And then I'll be like, yeah, like yell at him for that and then be like, and also, by the way, uh, can you get like our music done? You know? Thanks, man. Yeah, thank you. And then you like, kiss him on the cheek or something. They'll be like, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Zach, it. if you're listening, which I hope, you know, hopefully you, you do listen to it. Uh, I'm not, like, generally mad at you or anything. Like, it's. I am. Yeah, Joe Quinn's furious. You can see his, like, face is getting all red right now. See you um, Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. You're going you're gonna to have trouble on Tuesday, Zach. You're going to be in the hospital listening to this, and you're going to be like, oh, this is why you beat me up. But, yeah, so um, that's about it. For the intro, I guess. Again, pretty proficient so far. Uh, so should we get into the the meat and bones of the episode? Oh, we kind of just skipped over the song, didn't we? What did we skip over? The song. Well, I was gonna say play the song. Oh, play the song. But now you've ruined it. No, you've ruined it. I want to do it. Okay, fine, do it. Play the song. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Wasn't that great? Isn't Zach, the song isn't isn't Zach a great guy? He's amazing. Isn't, isn't that, he a, is that what you're saying? Yeah, the song is great. Zach's great. Oh yeah, the <laughs> logo is great. is great. I thought you were saying, uh, like, not isn't that great? And like, oh, isn't that so great? But like, as that isn't that great? It isn't that good. Uh, yeah, it probably is really good. Again, mm-hmm. in uh, the logo, I have, and the logo is probably gr- great too. That isn't done either at this point in time. Just for reference, I'm gonna probably message uh, Mia about it, like, um. Maybe, maybe like tomorrow. I might be like, "Hey, are you busy like at this time tomorrow?" And I can just stop by with a potato, and you can take a picture of it, and Perfect. we'll see. Um, but yeah, so are, are yeah, you gonna... I, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> no, j- no, no, <laughs> joking. <laughs> okay, we're gonna. Cut I'm this. ruining this. We're gonna cut this part out. You're supposed to say, "What's going on?" It's a whole. I don't. Name, I don't want to name of the title. I don't want to cut. Th- I don't want to cut this out. Uh, yeah, Jason, what's going on? <laughs> okay. This is, okay. You, this whole episode's ruined. Hey, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's. I just came back from Maine this weekend. I went up to see my grandfather because his uh, birthday's tomorrow. So we go up, you know, for the weekend, like either before. No, we usually don't go after. The, so we, the weekend before his birthday, unless his birthday's on the weekend. Um, and we see him to like kind of celebrate like his birthday and Christmas. So that was nice. Uh, just got back at, we're filming this right now at like seven o'clock, basically got back like three hours ago from the drive. It's like, uh, it used to be like a really, really long drive when I was little. I mean, it's still like the exact same amount of time, but like, it feels like it goes by a lot quicker now. Right. So, uh, good drive. Good, good weekend. We decorated, uh, my, so we, my grandfather got a tree. Uh, he's like the only person in my family that actually gets like a real tree. 
uh, everybody else has like fake trees now. Like I have a fake tree. I have like multiple fake trees. I have one right behind you in my room, like a small one. I don't have like a big tree in my room. Looks great. Yeah. Uh, but so he he gets he still gets real trees. We used to go out uh, and like pick them out ourselves, like me and my sister when we were little. Uh, but he for some reason just like cuts them down before we even get there now. Um, but we decorated his tree. It looks really pretty. It looks really nice. But what I noticed, and uh, I don't know if like, well, okay, so. So on Snapchat, I had to, you know, snap up the tree a bit. Got to, got to post it. Got to get that clout. Right. Uh, and so, right. but when I was, I was posting some stuff and like, I almost like put like, like Merry Christmas or whatever. But then I was like, oh, it isn't, it isn't Christmas. And then I kind of realized that like, my favorite part of Christmas, like, isn't actual Christmas, if that makes any sense. It's like cr- Christmas day is like nice and stuff. Like you get presents and whatnot and like, you're still hanging out with your family, which is cool. But I think my favorite part of Christmas is like the days leading up to Christmas. And like, cause that's when like you get all cozy and you watch your movies or whatever. And you, you like decorate and stuff. I think that's all that stuff's like more fun than Christmas morning itself. Cause like once you're like done with Christmas morning or whatever, unless you have like a Christmas dinner, like later on in the night, it's done. It's over. And right. then it's just, and then it's just winter and it's just cold. <laughs> it's cold for no reason. The atmosphere is gone. That's what I love about Christmas. It's just uh-huh. the atmosphere. Yeah, it's just a cozy time. Yeah. So, but I was like, you know what? Maybe I should have just put like Merry Christmas because like at first I was like, oh, it's kind of early. So people are going to be like, why are you saying Merry Christmas? It's not even Christmas yet. But like, this is the best. This, this is like, we're in like the prime of Christmas right now. It's right. like the week before Christmas. So like you're, you're, it's leading up. There isn't like a whole lot of time in between, but you know, it's still like, you still got a week to do stuff, Christmassy things, go and do stuff. I'm going to Boston, uh on thursday because okay so so every single year we do i don't know if you've, you've watched one of them yet joe quinn what? but me and my friends we do uh the jesse rush show christmas spectacular i've seen the one that you showed me which one did i show you i don't remember did it I have was you don't remember if this if it was the first one or the second one i don't know did it have parker in it yes Okay, that's the second one then. Okay, I saw the second one. Yeah, the second one's really good. That's the collaboration between another show that uh, was aired at like my work at WCTV. But so every year we do the Jesse Rush Show Christmas Spectacular. That's like we used to like do like the Jesse Rush Show over the summer, but like we kind of just like stopped doing that. But we have to do the Christmas special each year. So uh, I had to write. Well, I didn't have to, but I wrote the Christmas special out. And part of it, it takes place in the city. We were gonna go to New York, but then. New York's really far away, so we didn't go to New York. So we're going to Boston, but I'm really excited to just kind of be in the city during like Christmas time, all the Christmas lights and stuff. Go see the big tree and stuff. You got a permit to film all this, Jason? In Boston? Yeah. No. Um. Mm, strike but five. We're just gonna be like very low key. We're not gonna bring like an actual camera. Camera. We're just gonna bring like a phone because I don't think our boss would trust us going to Boston with, with like an expensive piece of equipment. Right. Um. But yeah, that should be fun. You got? Do you have anything planned this uh this this week for you know Christmas coming up? Also, uh, we, I don't want to talk too much about like, I mean, we can get into it a bit, but I don't want to talk too much about Christmas stuff because uh, next week we do have our Christmas episode, which starring my sister because I told her that that'd be her Christmas present when she'd be a guest on our podcast. So, mm. um, but but you got anything planned this week before Christmas? Like, yeah, Christmas Christmas shopping. Oh, I still have to do some of that too. Yeah. Uh. I'm only getting stuff for, like, my siblings this year. Yeah, I made the mistake of last year of getting stuff for, like, all my friends. Like, I did, like, a, like, it was almost like a, like a, which one, which one's the, uh, what, what's the, what's the kind of uh, Christmas party where, like, it's not, like, a secret Santa, because everybody knows, like, who they're getting presents for, but it's, like, like, the Yankee swap. Yeah. Like, it's, like, it's random, you just pick a random present. I did that with my friends, except, like, they didn't get anything. I got all the presents, and I just, like, had them in my trunk, and I was like, here, pick a number and take a present. I just got, like, $20 limit and just, like, for each present and just bought, like, seven presents. And it was cool in, like, theory, and it was like, oh, it's only, like, 20 bucks a person. But afterwards, it was pretty, like, ooh, I just spent, like, quite a bit of money on my friends. <laughs> right. But, yeah, I'm, I'm just doing family members this year. Unless you want something for Jay- uh, Christmas, Jason. Oh, I'm I'm good, Joe Quinn. I just want I just want this podcast up for Christmas. That's that's the only thing on my Christmas list on for like to Santa is to have this up. Please have this podcast up. Yeah, please, please. Santa. I'd be um, happy with just getting the song on Christmas. No, I wouldn't. I want yeah. the podcast no, up I on want, Christmas. Well that that kinda comes with it. It does, yeah. So I want everybody to be able to enjoy this on Christmas. Yeah, me too. Well, granted, I hope this episode's up like before Bef- Christmas. <laughs> um I hope the the Christmas episode's up like around Christmas. So okay. 
Yeah. Finger, yeah, fingers yeah. crossed. <laughs> Bring your fingers crossed. Unless the, unless we end up next week, like I said, having that be the first episode, which I really hope it isn't. But mm-hmm. who knows? Well, um, you know, speaking about like Christmas, I know you don't want to go too much into it, but yeah, you go go talk talk, like, talk all you want. Christmas movies. I oh. Oh. I actually don't do Christmas movies. I was don't gonna, do I Christmas was gonna movies. Say, I was gonna say talk all you want, but don't do Christmas movies. Oh. Uh, Why wow, was that a big thing on your list of stuff to talk about? Was Christmas movies? I was just gonna talk about Home Alone. Oh, we can talk about Home Alone if you just want to talk about Home Alone specifically. Oh no, now we'll wait. Way to go, Jason. Well, <laughs> way to go. Should I spoil the game? I had a game planned for the next episode. It was like no, don't spoil my it. Don't spoil it. Okay. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. Okay. Okay. Um, All right. No, speaking about movies. Uh, that was a very 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 clean segue and i i, I kind of wanted to be the one to bring this up but i i already knew like off the top that this was going to be on your list of stuff to talk about but God yeah you can you can bring it up I no, bring up, no 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 no, no 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 you do it. i have to bring up some other stuff i have to bring up the pictures just really quick so i can talk about it like in depth with the pictures with you okay back in 2013 uh sony sony motion pictures and sega made a deal to make a sonic the hedgehog movie was it really that long ago when they yeah. agreed to do it yeah i remember you told me about it in high school but i didn't realize that it was that long ago when they oh yeah agreed to oh do yeah it. it's it might have been 2012 mm-hmm. but it's been a long long time mm-hmm. so yeah that didn't really get off the ground for maybe the past two years uh Sony like stopped doing it. They switched it over to Paramount. Yeah, and like it's actually it's happening a thing. Now. It's actually a thing. Yeah, twenty nineteen. Okay. I'm actually probably gonna go see it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably. I'm definitely gonna go see it. I'm well, yeah, I, I, could, I definitely would imagine you seeing it, considering that's like your favorite thing to ever like happen. Right. Not the <laughs> movie, but like Sonic in general being made. I guess. Mm-hmm. Um. But I'm so. Horrified. so I take it you've also seen because because like you you're a big Sonic fan that you've also seen all the memes kind of going around online about people joking about like the movie posters and stuff. Yeah. Okay, I'll say this first. Okay, so first the original movie poster came out, and also uh, for those that are listening to this like through via SoundCloud, um, if you go to our YouTube version of it, we might put, we're gonna try to put some pictures up uh, on like the video part of it. Obviously, it's a podcast, so it's mainly just audio. But um, so if if you go to the YouTube version. There's a chance, it might not be, maybe we'll just get bored and like lazy and not do it, but it, there's a chance uh, we'll have the picture of the poster up like in the video version of it on YouTube. But so first the poster came out. Which one? Like the this poster. Oh, God. First, yeah. like the, just the regular movie poster came out uh, where it's basically like, a, for those that are, are just listening, uh, it's basically like a silhouette of Sonic. He's like oozing something, basically. It's like... Oh, I'm, it's, it's why lightning. isn't it loading? It's oh, lightning. it's lightning. I think it's lightning. It's some it's some kind of blue like mist blue coming, lightning. blue lightning coming off of him. Also, he's like very buff. He's <laughs> like that. But okay, but I'll say this. Okay, so people were kind of dogging on it and like on Twitter and saying that like it looked really like like strange how like muscular he was and stuff. But honestly, for a live action Sonic thing, I think I think it looks really good. I don't. Yeah. I think it looks good. I'm not. Like I was like, they're kind of like just picking on it just because it's Sonic. No, it doesn't look good at all. You don't like it? I hate it. You really? You don't hate it? I I hate Did it. Did you want it to look exactly like the, just like like okay. video game Sonic then? I'd rather have something like so that you with like to... realistic fur. Mm-hmm. I okay. So like I said, this has been a long time coming. Yeah. And after like all this trailer stuff was leaked and uh, not leaked but like published and stuff, mm-hmm. all the old stuff from my concepts were posted and i like this design for sonic so much better oh that's a concept yeah oh okay so that's gonna, a concept I'm, that's was, not that's not what he looks like i was gonna bring that up uh, and we'll, we'll put that picture hopefully in the video version too for people asking but it's basically it's like sonic laying on like a cop car you can probably just look up if you just look up sonic uh movie poster i think it pops up like on google images like that's like the second thing but basically he's like laying on a cop car with like chris pratt as like yeah. a cop because did you see the uh, list of possible actors? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, that was another thing that was leaked. Look at who they were trying to get for Tom the Cop, who is the cop, by the way, and yeah. Sonic. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to take your phone yeah. real quick. Okay, so the list for Tom goes as follows. So they have Chris Pratt, Chris Evans, Paul Rudd, Jake Johnson, Michael B. Jordan, Bill Hader, Jason Siegel, Justin Timberlake, Adam Pally, 
uh, Ansel Elgort, and Milo Ventimiglia. I don't know the last person. I know everybody else on the list, but I don't know the last person. Yeah, they didn't get any of them for Tom. Oh, do they already have it cast? Did they yeah. announce who it is? Okay, I'll ask you that afterwards. I, for- I forgot what his name was. Oh, God. I can ask you afterwards. Okay, so then for the voice of Sonic, we have Tom Holland, Josh Gad, Chris Pratt, Andy Samberg, Bill Hader, Will Fort, Jim Parsons, Charlie Day, Paul Rudd, and Adam Devine. I think it's kind of funny how Paul Rudd's on both the list for Tom and for Sonic. I wish he played both. That'd be funny if he played both. Paul Rudd was, like, a couple months ago when they were finally deciding the actors for this thing, Paul Mm -hmm. Rudd was, like, their number one choice. Oh, really? For both? Or... No, just for Tom, the cop. Oh, just for Tom? Yeah, but I don't know what happened, but Tom Marston? Is that a... I I feel like that's who they got. I don't... I don't know Tom Marston. I don't know who that is. I'm I'm sure if you show me, like, a picture of him, I might know, but... He looks a lot like Chris Pratt. Like Chris Pratt? Yeah. I don't know. I Like I said, I know almost everybody in there. I will say that that's, that's, like, a really, like, diverse list of actors for Tom. Not, like, diverse as in, like... The only, like, black person is, like, Michael B. Jordan. But, like, in terms of, like, just, like, <laughs> oh, God, physique or whatever, terrible. it's, like, they have, like, Chris Evans, Chris Pratt, who are, like, these big, like, I mean, I guess Chris Evans, or not Chris Evans, Chris Pratt was fat at one point when he played Andy and, uh, not fat, but, like, he was a bit, like, larger in Parks and Rec. But, like, they're, like, now they're, like, really buff superhero not- guys. Mm-hmm. And then they have people like Adam Pally, who's, like, known for, for, like, for playing, like, the stoner character and stuff. Sorry, it wasn't it wasn't um, Tom Marston. It was James Marston. It still doesn't sound. I mean, it sounds more familiar than. Oh, I know, I know who that yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, he has been he's been in Westworld, uh, Twenty Seven Dresses, and uh, <laughs> Enchanted. Oh. And Ben Schwartz plays Sonic. And honestly, not a bad oh, choice. Oh, Ben Schwartz is playing. Not Sonic? a bad choice. I love Ben Schwartz. He's in for people that don't know. He's in Parks and Recreation. I have. Uh, do you see next to the Christmas tree? Mm-hmm. That's a uh, Ben Schwartz character, oh, is it? John Ralphio. Oh, nice. I'm not thinking about the wrong Ben Schwartz. Let me let me let me quick. No, I'm that. pretty. No, I'm pretty sure we're talking about the same guy. Okay. He also plays one of the ducks in Ducktales. And oh wait, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm, really, I'm talking about the right person. I love Ben. Really, he's he's hilarious. In, it's a really good choice for Sonic. Yeah, he's hilarious in uh in Parks and Rec. I suggest checking that up. But that's actually really that's actually makes me want to see the movie even more. And you know who they got for Eggman? I'm sure you already know who they got for Eggman. I really don't know. No, I really, don't, I don't know any of the casting for the movie. Jim Carrey. Oh, that could be kind of good. No. <laughs> what do you mean, though? No, no. He's it's a, not he's, be he can good. do. He can make voices. He can make voices, but he doesn't have the body. I don't want to see. Oh, that's right. Because oh, of course. Jim Carrey's like this scrawny old dude now. Yeah. For some reason, I thought you're right. For some reason, I thought that he was also just going to be like the voice and not like the actor. No, I forgot, I forgot it's live action. You're right. You're right. It's live action. That is kind of strange. No, I don't know if they're going to do like a CG egg, Eggman. Yeah. I hope to God not. Yeah, that'd be kind of weird. But I don't also. I also mm-hmm. don't want to see like Jim Carrey in a fat suit walking around. Yeah, that's 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 true. That'd be so funny if you put him. If if he's just if it's playing if it's like him like live action like a live action playing him, I don't think he'd be in a fat suit. I feel like. It's gonna just be like a new like interpretation of him. He'll just be skinny right. or whatever. Uh, let me pull this up. Okay. Well, there okay. has been like skinny versions of Eggman before. Uh huh. Also, really quick for uh, listeners, uh, I'm like getting over like a cold right now, so if I sound like kind of strange or like you might hear me like sniffle or something, I'm gonna blow my nose in like a couple seconds. Um, I'm sorry. Also, you might Jonathan might cut it out if not. I'm, I'm gonna cut this out. Okay, he's gonna cut out me blowing my nose. Okay, cool it's not working it's like stuck in the back <laughs> whatever okay but yeah uh there have been skinnier versions of eggman before mm-hmm. they don't look good oh, okay <laughs> are you looking this, at this yeah this looks that's still he still has a belly though he's he still... still has a belly but yeah like, but he, he, he looks, a, he, looks a bit, he looks a bit more like humanistic in that one then right the other that versions was, you could actually like see his eyes from certain angles yeah mm. That looks gross. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not looking forward to this. Well, now... To the movie? Yeah. The mm-hmm. design they have for Sonic now, if you, like, adjust the contrast and brightness, mm-hmm. it's an actual hedgehog face. Yeah. With, like, actual hedgehog eyes. It's mm-hmm. not, like, his white iris thing. It's our... Yeah. Like, like again, I thought that that uh, mock no. was real. No, they changed it. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. It interesting. It's gonna look. It's gonna be bad. Mm-hmm. That movie's gonna be bad. It's gonna be worse than Detective Pikachu. And Detective Pikachu looks terrible. Oh, oh, I forgot that happened too. Let's talk about that really quick. Again, I actually kind of I like the trailer for it. You like the trailer? Yeah. You only like the trailer because Ryan Reynolds is Pikachu. <laughs> no, it's not even that. I wasn't. Well, I'm not like a huge Ryan Reynolds fan. Like I like the Deadpool movies, but I'm not like a like a fiend who's like, I love Deadpool or whatever. Like, it was just I thought it was just a good trailer. I wasn't expecting much of it. I when it, I thought it sounded stupid, really, like him playing Pikachu, like Ryan Reynolds playing Detective Pikachu. I thought that sounded like stupid, but it's funny. Uh, Ryan Reynolds was actually producing the Sonic movie at one point. Was was but no then, longer is no longer is. That was probably like the Sony deal. Mm-hmm. But switching over to Paramount, they got like the producer of the Fast and Furious movies. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, and that's why I also noticed that on the poster where it's like from the producers of Fast and Furious. Yeah. That's so funny. That's I think it's smart though. I really I I think they're marketing it really like smart. Really, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> well, speaking about the marketing, uh, another picture that came up. Oh God! <laughs> and I think Jokeman knows what it is. And I'm gonna know what and we'll it put is. it again. We'll put this probably on the YouTube version for those uh, listening. Uh, is the legs the legs poster? Dude, look right. Right next to Sonic's left leg, to the right of his leg. To the right of his leg? Yeah. Tell me what it says. What it says? Yeah. Coca Cola? What? Where am I looking? No, to his left leg. You said to the right. To the right of his left leg. Oh, to the right of his left leg? Yeah. Sonic was here. <laughs> With a U Z Z. Yeah. Nice. I didn't even notice that. Honestly, I'm I'm like looking at it further. I didn't even notice like the like the little little like streaks little... of him really? running of him like running around. I only I only knew the legs. I only looked at the legs. <laughs> um, but <laughs> that was not that don't that don't see the picture. It's the thing of his legs, and you can just look up Sonic legs on Google, and you'll be able to find. No, them, no, you. you won't be able to find them on. What do you mean? Well, when Sonic Boom came out, or like when the images for Sonic Boom came out, Sonic's legs was like a whole another discussion because they made him taller. Okay, if you look up Sonic movie legs, I just looked up Sonic movie go. legs. If you look up Sonic movie legs, you'll be able to find um, the picture of the poster. But so basically, the thing that came up with the poster is um, so basically, the legs are like so you you can't see this body you could, like you can see like his legs. He's like he's like laying down or whatever, mm-hmm. and so like it, like his legs are at the bottom of the poster going up, but like the way that they're like placed is not possible for like it to be like an anatomically correct he's got three knees or two knees in that two, one like <laughs> two knees yeah he's got two knees. it just like it doesn't make any sense and like people have like i, th- I just thought it was hilarious on twitter when people were posting the pictures of them trying to recreate the poster <laughs> that's so funny but yeah i that that one i think that that part of it i think deserved to be memed on a bit the other you don't think the other part the even in no. the other part the like the pose was weird it was yeah, I guess the pose was kind of weird, but like it, it looked really a bit weird. better. I, I and again, I, I kind of like the the first poster. I feel, I think we're getting like an actual trailer for it next month. Oh, that'd be sweet. We can talk about that. I don't. I'm want really to. excited for that. Then I feel like this is like uh, I feel like the only reason why like I'm excited for this is because I don't have like an attachment to Sonic. So like I'm just going into this just like to see like a fun movie, not to see like, a fun Sonic movie. If I was a big Sonic fan like you are, I could ima- I could, I could totally get why you're upset with it. Like I'm, I uh, for like example, like uh, solo, yeah. Uh, like it's, I think it's like uh, m- like in terms of like movie standards, it's like a good movie, but I hate it. I hate that movie. Now. Okay. Uh, just because like I'm a big Star Wars fan and I know like the character and stuff, and like even though it's like written like the character, like when I watch the movie, that isn't my Han Solo, that isn't my Lando. So like I can see like h- how so- like a big Sonic fan would like be very like trepid, like trepidatious. Is that a- the word? I think going so. into it it's funny because like the whole sonic community like hates this thing yeah i'm the sure the creators of sonic hate this really? thing yeah did they were they not in like the pro like the process of they're not with over? sega anymore oh geez and like sega has control over sonic it's they they don't have any control mm-hmm. like even like the main producer of sonic games now has no control over what sega can do Jeez. with the ip yeah so that's crazy it's really bad yeah but I, everybody else is having a ball with it like i'll like like i'll like the, like the not sonic fans but like uh like 
for example, people that like play Smash maybe that like don't play Sonic, I'm sure they're having a a ball. Oh yeah. And I, I wanted to get into that too. Oh, Smash Ultimate? Smash Bros, yeah. But yeah. we do you want, do you have anything else to add about the Sonic thing first before we kind of move on? But I feel like I do, but I don't really want to talk about it. You don't want to get it's, too it's you, don't, so, you don't, you don't want to so get you don't want to get depressed. It, I want to say like one more. Uh, so, do you know like Real Time with Bill Maher that show? Yeah, yeah. Well, Jim Carrey was like a guest mm-hmm. on it, like right after they stopped filming for the Sonic movie. They it, filmed oh, in they Canada, stopped. so it's already it's already done filming. Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh, things you found out from that is like the town is called Green Hills. Oh. Which is like Green Hills don't get it. Get, get it? it? Yeah. Uh, Sonic is an alien. Word. No. I think it'd be weird to just have him be a regular hedgehog, though. They ought to kind of explain it a bit. Yeah, but it's also weird because, like, Jim Carrey, like, just recently signed for this movie, and he was mm-hmm. already done filming his part. Yeah. Like, he was in he, he was in and out of Canada real fast, and that scares me. Oh, yeah. Maybe he isn't in a whole lot, though. Maybe he's just, like... He's the villain. Yeah, but you never know. Like, maybe he's, like, not actually the villain. Maybe he's just, Maybe like... Tom, the cop, is the villain. Well, maybe it's more of just, like, maybe he's, like, set up to be the next movie's villain if they're trying to make a sequel or something out of it or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, trying, I'm just trying to think of, like, why he yeah. would do it really quick minus, like, giving, like, a half ass drop, which is probably what happened. That's definitely probably what happened. It's yeah. like, I need money right now. Mm-hmm. Seriously, what has Jim Carrey been in, in, like, the past couple of years? Uh, he's been making art. He's very, like, I don't think he needs money, but I think he's just, like doing he could, stuff he would like it he had like a spiritual awakening like like a couple years ago oh but good for him uh i want to show you not now but like i'll show you afterwards uh we'll put it in the description the description of the youtube version again most of this stuff's going to be on the youtube version but again if you just like have to listen to the soundcloud obviously do that but so uh there's like a video where he went to like a like some kind of fashion show or something like that or something and he was on like a red carpet and like a reporter came up to him and she's like wow you're looking really nice and he just went like full-on like uh, like fifth dimension, like on her, he's just like talking about like this weird like spiritual stuff. And he's like, none of us exist and stuff like that. It's crazy. Uh, he's like, I'm not really here. You're not here. None of us are here. What's the point of all this? Jesus um, Christ, Jim Carrey. I'm yeah, but I'll 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 show you afterwards, and I'll also link it in the description of the video. But mm-hmm. it's really funny. Um, but yeah, also are there is like have they confirmed if any of like the side like animal characters are in it like tails and like knuckles and stuff if any of them are in it or if it's just, just sonic, sonic. Mm-hmm. just sonic do you think they're gonna do you think they're gonna like maybe do like a post credit or something like that or do you think they're just gonna stick to sonic for now i think they're just sticking with sonic you think they're gonna set up i don't think they're gonna movies? set up i don't think they're setting up i a think sequel. for sure they're trying to set up a sequel. there's no way they aren't I... every uh, like with these type of like big but not not necessarily big i mean it is probably a decent sized budget but not but like these like blockbuster ish type of movies, they're like they movies like companies or like uh producer like producers love. See, sequels. I don't know how big this movie is. It doesn't feel like a big movie to me. Yeah, kind of, but I mean, it's like it's not like an indie movie. It's they like gave a... the debut trailer. Uh, they gave the debut poster to IGN. Yeah, and not not something big. I don't know. I I'm almost sure. I'm. It's like it's got like a very like Power Rangers feel to me, where like. It's like an old like uh like IP that people love or some people love, <laughs> and they're just trying to kind of reignite. I mean, because like Sonic, I mean, he has like games out now and stuff, but he isn't like as huge as he was when he first came out. So like they're right. probably just trying to reignite like fan support for it and like set up a sequel. There's no way they don't set up. I, I'm I'm willing to bet ten bucks. No, not nothing, nothing too big, but I'm willing to put a, do a ten dollar bet with you that yeah, there's some sort of like setup for a sequel. In setup for a sequel or like there is going to be a sequel. Well it could the movie could bomb they don't do a sequel for it. But I mean like like okay, I mean definite setup that like that like not like not like ooh this could lead into something. Okay, I so mean, like, like a post credit scene. Either that or like yeah, something that it's like that's like that would definitely be like a setup to the next movie. Okay. It's like there's no mistaking it. See, I'm afraid that it's gonna like go into the games. Mm-hmm. I don't want I don't want this to touch the games at all. Yeah, I don't want even like a game based off the movie. Yeah, like what Ratchet and Clank did. Mm-hmm. That movie was bad. Yeah, we kind of talked about that before, but we didn't release that episode. <laughs> yeah, God, it scares me, mm-hmm. and I think I'm done with this. Yeah, I think I'm done. With well, Sonic. speaking about the games. Uh, Smash Bros. of course came out recently. 
how far are you with have you, have you unlocked everything already by now i think you probably unlocked have. everything or character unlo- character i have maybe. unlocked every character you have yes uh oh i saw this today uh this is, my friend jesse retweeted it somebody had that has a ripley when you just do like his like ridley jet, or ridley uh, my bad uh, ripley's from alien okay yeah with like it, it's his so jabs when, when yeah. you do his jabs it's basically we will rock use like clap like stomp stomp clap thing mm-hmm. and it's i was like when the, like, I, I was in the car like on the way back from me when i saw it and when i played it like I, I wouldn't have my headphones in or anything i was just like kind of like faintly listening to it because there's like, the radio on was, the radio was on and stuff and so like i thought that they were like playing we will rock you or, or uh yeah we will rock you and just like jabbing to it so it looked like he was doing it mm-hmm. but then when i like listen closer i was like no this is the actual sound of the game and they're not playing anything and i thought that was like cra- crazy <laughs> i don't know if that was intentional or not but, oh definitely not but it's so it's really funny i would if i were because that's I would not check it out that's not even his full jab oh okay yeah he has like a tail stab thing after at the end mm-hmm. yeah. but yeah so have you been how how hard have you been going like how how, like how have you been like addicted to the game recently or no? I played about like two hours every day of it. Oh okay. Yeah. Is it like the same as Smash Four? Like, mm. Your usage of it, or are you like usage of it? Like, or like yeah, playing I... playtime with like Probably, Smash Four. Not like not like when it came out, but like from like you playing Smash Four before it, this one came out straight to into this one. Was it like around around the same amount of playtime? No, I'd say this one is a lot more. Because mm-hmm. I was a lot more excited for Ultimate than I was for Smash Four, and I love yeah. Smash Four, mm-hmm. but I don't know. I, I got really tired of it after a couple of years, and even like because there was the 3DS version and there was the Wii oh, version. Oh yeah, yeah. Because it was it was really similar. I didn't really sink my teeth into the Wii U version until like a lot later. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I actually uh, played it like the first day it came out, mm-hmm. not like with Joey or anything. I don't even know if Joey got it the first time it came out. Uh, I take it he probably pre-ordered it, but me and me, Joey and Marcus stayed to my house till five a.m. because GameStop wasn't doing a midnight release for us, so uh, I that's bought the stupid. Dig- I bought the digital version. Uh huh. And um, and you downloaded it. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I also have the physical version. Oh okay, yeah. So, wait, so you bought it twice? I bought it like four times. Oh my gosh, why? I like Smash. <laughs> that's crazy. You want to give me a copy? You got a Switch? No no okay um but yeah so uh, this uh one of my like co-workers or actually he's more of like a boss kind of he isn't like my like direct boss but he's like higher up to me but so he and like another one of my co-workers uh they're setting they set up like a gaming tournament at the station it's for like high school students right and so they were gonna do a smash Bros. tournament with like the new game but like he thought it came out earlier than it did so like he set it up and like he set up like the date for the tournament and then he's like, "Yeah, I just got I just got Smash Bros. It's like in like no, the end of November." And we're like, "It hasn't come out yet, Chris." And he's like, "No, I just got it." And we're like, oh, "No." no. Uh, and then he could have hacked the Switch and got the leaked version. Well, well, <laughs> well so then he so then he he didn't get it obviously because it wasn't obviously out. Not. So what they ended up doing was like a Mario Kart tournament, and then like the four like top players of that came back when Smash came out. Mm-hmm. And so uh, the day that like he got it, uh, we all went to the station. And like we just played Smash Bros to try to unlock as many characters as we could. We can we didn't get all of them like unlocked by like the thing because it was the next morning. Mm-hmm. Um, but we got like a decent amount done. Um, I think we got a couple past Ice Climbers. Is it all? Was it all the same order? Of, it was like, random. Characters? It was random I because believe. my friend Noah said because my friend Noah's like he his friends up at college got it also, and so he got they got so like they got it at midnight. So he played a bit the night before, and so um, basically like. He said that the order that like he unlocked like that night was the same as how we were unlocking it at the station. But granted, like my friend Jesse, he had his, he had his, and he came back from school like later that week, and uh, he had like a bunch unlocked, but he didn't have Ike yet, and Ike was one of like the f- not first ones, but it was like the first like seven or something like that that we unlocked. Really? And his, his was later on. So yeah, I just wasn't sure exactly. It, like, I believe it's random. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's also like like three different ways you can unlock characters yeah like there was a huge exploit with like entering story mode every time you every time you entered and left story mode you would automatically get a character oh really approaching but you'd have to like wait 20 minutes or close and reopen your game Mm -hmm. i didn't do that because i found out way too late 
Oh, they fixed it. Did they? Uh, or oh, I, you did, or you just found it out after you like already unlocked everything? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I, I unlocked it, I unlocked every character at like seven p.m. the day the game came out. Because mm-hmm. it was just constant, nonstop playing. Yeah, I just want to say we maybe unlocked fifteen, maybe. Not not counting like the original like characters that were already like, right the are pre unlocked. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, so it was, it was fun. I haven't played it since, but it was fun. It's really I was fun. really happy that the, uh, Ike had like his alternate costumes from like, oh, both yeah. both the Brawl and like Four. Smash Four. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I forget. I think I was playing as like Fox before, because like I really, whenever I play Smash, I only play as like Duck Hunt and Ike, and so I'm not used to other characters. So I was kind of playing as Fox before, and I wasn't I wasn't doing like terrible because like I wasn't like playing against like good people per right. se like like i do when i go to tournaments already, with you guys and stuff. And you already got like some of the knowledge yeah i mean my friend noah is really good but everybody else is just like decently good right. but uh but then once we unlocked ike and i got him and i like played with him it was like it was like i felt like the power in like my hands as i held the controller i was like yes so it was it was great mm-hmm. and then we, we uh that night we went to cheesecake factory and then i haven't played since oh, after we went to che- we were gonna go play after we got back from cheesecake but we got back kind of late so we didn't play anymore uh for like me marcus and joey we played uh, till five at my house. Then we moved to Joey's house. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Joey took a nap because while a qu- you guys played, yeah, well, because oh he's, he's a quitter. He's uh-huh. a quitter. Uh, woke up at ten. We went to GameStop, picked up our physical copies. Yeah, and, like, parted ways. So wait, so how long did you stay at his house while he was asleep for like Probably. five hours? Then yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah, I had to pick him up from school the other day. Did you? Uh, last, this past Tuesday, I want to say, he texted me, okay, so I was on the couch, and I was watching uh, Titans on the DC streaming service. You mean the movie? No, the TV show that the you movie. thought was a movie, but it's a it's TV definitely show. definitely a movie. Um, Anyways. It's actually, uh, the trailer, like everybody was memeing on that, it's actually not that bad of a show. That being said, though, so I, I was watching it, and then uh, Joey like texted me, and he was like, hey, are you busy right now? And I was like, uh, no, not really, why? And he's like, can you pick her from school? Because like, I guess he like, hit a deer and there was par- cars in the shop for it. And so I was like, yeah, I can probably you know do it. What time do you need me to pick you up? And he said, uh, 2.30. And it was like at, it was like 1.50 like, at this point. So I had to like, and I wasn't like dressed or anything. So I just had to kind of get ready really quick right. and then head out because the school's like 30 minutes away. Um, so I, you know, head out. And the, well, I, said I, was, I said I was on my way like when I left. And then I, head out, I headed out, got to his school. And I don't know where to go because I know like I, I don't go to school here, so I don't know where to park or anything. So I just opened my phone to call him, and I checked, and he said, uh, oh, shit, I'm stupid. I meant to say 3.30. And so, <laughs> and so I was like, oh. And I don't know. like I, I, I would have been fine with just like sitting in my car and just like watching like stuff on my phone or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, I just don't know where to park or anything because like, I, I just don't know like the area that well. So I was like, um, okay, I guess I'll just like – because my dad lives like I want to say like 20 minutes away from there. So I was like, okay, I'll just like go to my dad's house and then come back and get you. Right. And he was like, okay, I'm like really sorry. And I was like, yeah, it's it's whatever, it's fine. So I went to my dad's house and then uh, I looked at the time and I basically like I only had time to get like a soda or whatever, like drink it, and then like leave. And I went back to get him. Um, and then I brought him to work, and he gave me ten bucks, and I was really happy. I didn't even ask him for any money. He just gave me ten bucks, and I was like, oh, sweet. He gives you ten dollars when you give him rides. Yeah, maybe you should get a car, Joe Quinn. <laughs> I need a car. I need a car really bad. Yeah. I wanted to just. I wanted to just like keep driving to Boston back and forth like this weekend, but I couldn't. And Uber is what's really in Boston. Expensive. An oh, arcade. Do you not want to say an arcade? Oh, an arcade. Yeah. Is it like new? No. I didn't. It's like a full time arcade thing. Oh, okay. I had a... So, on my birthday, me and my friends went up to Boston because they switched the House of Blues to, like, a classic arcade, kind of. Like, the mm-hmm. restaurant part of it. And that was pretty sweet, but... Oh, so, is it, like, classic games, or is it, like, all new stuff? Mix between. A mix between? Yeah. Do, do they have, like, consoles and stuff? Or no. Like, oh, so it's just, like, arcade games. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And so, it's... In, have Wait, how many how many times have you gone? Because you said you don't have a car or an Uber. How how recent was this? <laughs> like a I'm just week. gonna do twenty questions right now. <laughs> like two weeks ago, maybe. Two weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, well, so I want I want to go back to Twitter really quick. 
because I I was. You said you said something about Twitter. Well, that's what the Sonic was on, and then oh god, uh, yeah, that's what I saw Sonic on and whatnot. Uh, I oh I probably I, did I specify that I saw the Sonic thing on Twitter. Probably not. No, you didn't. So, okay, so I just randomly said let's go back to Twitter. Anyway, okay, let's go to Twitter really quick. Um, so I woke up uh, one morning and just checked my phone. And then I saw that uh, the new Avengers trailer came out. Right. Have you seen it? I have. You have seen it? Okay, cool. I was worried that you might not have seen it. Um, I wanted to talk to you about it for a bit, just to see what your thoughts on thoughts on it were. Um, I'll I'll start off with my impressions of it first. Uh, it was light. I don't remember, really remember. It was okay. I don't remember much of it other than like Ant Man's alive. Yeah. Have so you are you you're caught up with all like the Marvel movies, right? No. You're not. Nope. I haven't seen, I haven't seen Doctor Strange. Okay. Thor: The Dark World. Mm-hmm, that's two. Or Ragnarok. Or Ragnarok. That's three. Uh, Ant Man, Ant Man and the Wasp. Uh huh. That's five. Sp- have you seen the Spider Man movies? Yes. Or the ones? Well, I saw Homecoming. Say. Yeah, Homecoming. That's the only one that's out. Yeah. Uh, I really want to go see like what is it? Enter the Multiverse. Into oh, the multiverse. Into Spider-Man Into the Multiverse. Into the Multiverse, yeah. Or Into the Spider-Verse. Into the Spider- Sorry. I, I really want to see that. I've seen, like, nothing but good reviews on it. And, like, it looks really good from the trailers and stuff. You should go watch it. I really want to go. I uh, I feel like if I didn't have stuff tonight, I actually would, probably would go watch it tonight. God damn it. I have some friends that I've already seen. I haven't talked to them about it because I don't want to, like, know anything from them before I go in. You doing anything tomorrow? Homework, because I have finals on uh, in two days. I know. Go After that, your, I'm done though. Go enjoy your stupid finals. I'm not gonna enjoy my finals. And then we'll watch the Spider-Man. Yeah, but also. so so you've seen Infinity War though, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So so you kind of know. I, I guess this. Like, oh, and the Guardian movies. I haven't seen. You haven't seen the Guardian of the Galaxy nope. movies? That those I think you have to see, Joker. Those are those are my favorite ones. Are the Guardian of the Galaxy movies? I love those ones. Can I watch Volume Two and not Volume One? Because I heard I'm just like one. Uh, not Volume One. I I heard like one wasn't that good. One wasn't that one's like. the Wait, from like who? The internet. One people like one better than two. Generally, really? yeah, I think generally that people like one better than two. I one's I probably for me it probably goes two than one, but like, yeah, those are. I just don't care for Chris. Those Pratt. are solid ones. Uh, I, I guess it's kind of fair. Um, not because he like punched Thanos in the face, uh, <laughs> but like I just, just in general. Yeah, just yeah. in general. Okay, well, so, so so minor, I guess, spoilers for like avengers infinity war kind of i'm not gonna go too into it obviously but like if also also if you haven't seen it by now like you're not gonna be, like, you don't you don't care about the spoilers at this point you, you've already seen all the memes and stuff but yeah so uh basically the trailer and i saw i saw somebody like cause I, I like follow on youtube this uh movie like uh i don't even know how, what you would call him but like he basically like talks about movies he's like very he's like like very professional about it though like it's very good it isn't just like a guy like in his like bedroom talking about movies it's like what's, a very professional setup uh, what's this channel the john campia show I've never heard uh of it. i would highly see just checking it out he used to work for amc and then uh collider and stuff but now he does his own thing um but anyway so he was talking about it and i think what he said was really like really like accurate where he was like it, it, this basically this trailer was just like a prologue for avengers infinity war it basically all he did was like it could have just like they could have placed this trailer like at the end of infinity war and it wouldn't have like it would have been the same thing because all, all this is it basically just says like what happened in Infinity War mm-hmm. minus like you see Ant Man, which again spoilers I guess for Ant Man and the Wasp. But like, I think we already. Said I think that. yeah yeah number one you think we've already seen it by now. Number two like n- like no shit he was gonna survive like or get out of there. He wasn't it wasn't like the well, end. Well now of I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, okay, well I'm not gonna spoil it too much. Now before. I gotta go watch Ant Man Ant Man and the Wasp mm-hmm. with Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd, the most interesting and, uh, man in the face? world. What's uh Michael? No, not Michael. Uh what's his name? I'm blanking. I uh, plays like the old guy in it. Seriously, who can be the villain in a movie called Ant Man? In Ant Man? Uh in which one? Ant Man two or Ant Man one? Either or. In Ant Man one, the villain of it is uh this guy called Yellow Jacket, which is basically evil Ant Man. It's okay. just another guy that shrinks, basically. <laughs> um in the in the comics, uh Hank so okay, so I'm gonna get. I'm gonna dive in a bit of. It's gonna be kind of like a little like nerd thing going on. Give me right some now. of that. Ant- some, some of that. Ant-Man some of that. War. Some of that sweat coming off right yep. now. Some of that nerd <laughs> sweat. Okay, so basically, so in the comics, the first Ant Man is Hank Pym. Uh, he's they. He is in like the Ant Man movies as like the first Ant Man kind of, but like mm-hmm. his his, uh, he's like his Ant Man was like during like the 
it was either like the Vietnam War or like World War II or something like that. He he fought in the war though as Ant Man. It was like a special ops thing. But they they don't have like they don't really show like they only show flashbacks. They don't have like, like a big thing about him being Ant Man really. Right. But he invents like the technology and stuff. Um, but in the comics, he's the first Ant Man, and he also becomes Yellow Jacket, which I think I don't even think I think he might be evil for a bit, but I think he's also a hero as Yellow Jacket in the comics too. But basically, and then uh, the second Ant Man is uh, Scott Lang, which is Paul Rudd's character. Okay. So uh, in the Ant Man movies. Uh, he robs or he attempts to rob Hank Pym's house. He gets like the technology or something by accident. He turns it on. Long story short, he becomes Ant Man. Then Yellow Jacket is supposed to be like in the movies at least. He's like Hank Pym's old apprentice kinda, but okay. like he makes like, his own like suit using like the, te- the technology. Um, and he, yeah, he, he becomes you know, he wants to like sell it to like other countries to like use his like weapons and stuff like that. But that's that's no good. It's right. bad. Right. So they gotta stop him. So that's basically the first one. And the second one is like this girl who her I her think her name's like ghost or something like that. Basically she just like phases through walls. And she's like there's like other it's like another side story to it. I'm not gonna get too into it, but uh those are the villains I guess in Ant Man. Um nothing too like crazy. Ant Man one was really good. I wasn't a huge fan of Ant Man two. It was okay. Where's the wasp come in? She's uh Hank Pym's daughter. And oh. so she wasn't in the first one, but he gives her a suit in the next one. Okay. And so she has, like, the wasp suit, which is basically the same thing as Ant-Man's suit, except it flies. And it's also, you know, shrinks and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But Ant-Man, Ant-Man can grow, too. He can become Giant Man. Right. The wasp can't do that. Were you going to ask a question? Or No. Okay. So that's your little history lesson on Ant-Man. Um, but, yeah, so basically that's the only, like, revelation that you get from... Uh, like the Infinity War, or not Infinity War, the Avengers 4 trailer. Also, you get the name of the movie, which is uh, Avengers 4 Endgame, which it's okay. That's what a lot of people like, uh, theorized it was going to be. I don't want I don't want Iron Man to die. I don't want Tony Stark to die. He's um, going to die. He said he's going to end up dying. Okay, so, yeah, so if you watch the trailer, this isn't like spoiling. We haven't seen the movie, so obviously I don't, don't think know he's going to die there. But yeah, I don't. I don't there. think he's gonna die there either, because like they, they set it up to where he's like, I I'm in this ship in space. We're running out of fuel. I'm running out of food, and like mm-hmm. I'm gonna die basically. Um, I don't think he dies there either. But like I don't know. Okay, I think there's a good chance he does die in this movie. I, but if he doesn't, uh, I don't think he's gonna be Iron Man anymore. I think he'll like drop it to like somebody else if he doesn't die. But I think there's a good chance he does die in this movie. Didn't to- uh, <laughs> didn't Tony Stark didn't Robert Downey Jr. say like this is his last. Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. Didn't they say? Like, yeah, I think this, this is most last. definitely Chris Evans' last one, and it's probably Robert Downey Jr.'s last one too. Because like, I mean, they've been doing it since like, or at least Robert Downey Jr. has been doing it since two thousand eight, right? Or just like ten years ago. He's been there since the start. He was like the first movie. Actually, either him or Hulk came out first, but I think he came out first. That's not even the right. That's no, like, Incredible now Hulk. Now it's a different Hulk. Well, yeah, it's a different actor, but it's still the same. It's still in the continuity of the movies. The Incredible Hulk movie. It's still in a, okay. it's still a Marvel movie. Okay. But yeah, they switched actors afterward because Ed right. Norton. Like I don't know what the issue is, but they switched it. They switched Ed Norton out. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so it's it's an okay trailer. It's like it's nothing with the Infinity War trailers that came out because those are like crazy. I'm I'm and I'm sure the next one that comes out for this movie is gonna be crazy too. I think they're gonna go balls to the wall for the next one. But I mean, it's a, <laughs> this one's like an okay teaser. I think it's because they know like everybody was maybe not sad, but like this. Not disappointed. I don't know what to say, but like, yeah, it was like, they didn't they, like I walked out shocked of Infinity War. Exactly. Like so I, they my needed, mouth was like, like jaw dropped. They needed to make it like more calm or whatever. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I kind of had to put the the brakes on for mm-hmm. a bit. Um, but Next yeah. one we get, we'll get. Well, I yeah, I'm pretty like I said, I'm pretty sure that the trailer for it's gonna be like balls to the wall, like crazy. But if it isn't, like I'm not gonna be like upset per se. I like I, cause like I don't, I don't mind going in a bit blind. Like I kind of like going into a movie like not really knowing what to expect. Mm-hmm. Um, so if they do like for some reason do that where like they don't say anything about the movie, then you know I won't be like too disappointed. I mean, it comes out what I think it, April it comes out. Really? Yeah, it comes out in April, and Captain Marvel comes out in like March. That's so really there's like there's like two movies coming up right next to each other. What? I, I, I know it's like the dumb like meme thing, but uh-huh. I really want at the end of the Captain Marvel movie for Captain Marvel to just disappear. No, well, Captain Marvel takes place in the nineties. <gasps> Captain Marvel takes place before the in uh, it takes place in the nineties. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It, well, number one, they know. number one they just said it takes place in the nineties. Number two, if you just watched like, have you seen the trailer for it? Captain Marvel. No, I haven't. Well, in the trailer, there's a she falls through a blockbuster. The blo- blockbuster is like the first thing that you see in the trailer. <laughs> 
Um, Nick Fury's in the movie, but he has like hair and two eyes and stuff. <laughs> nice. So, nice. Um, but yeah, so it takes place in the '90s, and then there might be a thing at, like in post credit scene where like she gets like Nick Fury's like distress call at mm-hmm. the end of Infinity War. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited for like Captain Marvel though too. Like I, every Marvel. Well, was, well, I was gonna ask you like, are you a big Marvel guy? But obviously you aren't huge into it because you haven't seen all the movies. I like but like Marvel more but than I'm DC. Like a, I'm a big That's fan. Oh yeah, I'm a. Okay, I, I was gonna say yeah, I'm a, I, I'm, a, I'm that too, but I'm not. I okay, so I like all the Marvel movies really for the most part. Like, actually, no, I do like all the Marvel movies, and I don't like all the DC movies. But like, but you like all the Marvel movies for the most part, even the first Thor, even like any maybe the first two Thor. I heard like, I think okay, so I used to I used to really dog on the first Thor, but then after rewatching it and rewatching the second Thor, I think the second Thor is worse than it. I have my list. I have my ranking of every Marvel movie. Where is it? On my phone. I can pull it up right now if you want. Pull it up. Pull it up. Okay. Give me like two seconds. Don't count down because I'm going to take a bit longer than two One, seconds. Two. Okay. Got it. And now. <laughs> okay. Oh. okay. Um, do you want me to go up from the bottom or up or down from the top? Well, hang on. I'm going to have to stop you there for a second because right now it's time for the Peabody Fact of the Day. Today, potatoes are grown in all 50 states of the United States of America and in about 125 countries throughout the world. Okay, thank you, Miss Peabody. We really appreciate that. Thanks. Thanks for interrupting me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so do you want me to go... <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> okay. Do you want me to go up from the, like, the bottom, like from my worst movie to my best movie, or go yeah. from best movie to worst movie? Go to worst movie to best movie. Okay, so I have uh, Thor 2 as my worst one. Okay. Um, rewatch. I used to have it kind of higher up, but rewatching it, it's really not that good of a movie. But it's okay. I still, I still enjoy it. I enjoy mo- most of these movies, uh, m- all of the movies. Okay. Then I have Hulk. Again, it's like okay, but really, like nobody counts that as like a. I mean, it is technically a Marvel movie. Like there's like a Iron Man post credit scene and stuff in it and mm-hmm. stuff. But like nobody really counts that as a Marvel movie. <laughs> like really. Um. Then I have the first Iron Man. That's a lot of people's like, fa- like a lot of people love that movie. Really. And I think it's good too. But like. I think it's like the weakest of the Iron Man movies. Really? Yeah. Uh, then I have Thor, like the first Thor. Okay. It's okay. I hate. Okay, so I we, we, me and Joaquin watched it for uh, in our uh, Age of Mythology class because like, no, I pretty much missed Norse all of it. Oh yeah, that's right. You weren't there. But also, we rewatched it. And so when I was watching it, I noticed. Uh, so okay, so I I knew I already knew who the director was. Uh, it's Kenneth Branagh. He was the you know like the scissors movie for, that we watched in uh, film study. <laughs> what was it? Uh... The one oh where like the guy dead. falls on the yeah scissors. dead dead. He plays the lead character in that, Kenneth Branagh. He plays like the main guy, right? Uh, but so oh he, he act- so he so he directed the first Thor movie. I would give you guys the title of the movie we just talked about, but I I couldn't tell you what the name it, of it's it like is. dead something. Yeah, but so anyway, so he directed it, and when I was I was rewatching Thor like in that class, and like there's so many like shots that are like a tilted camera angle. And, like, it's fine, like, once in a while, but when every other shot, like, the camera is tilted in a new direction, it's, like, so annoying. It's, like, the, it's, like, I don't even know how to explain it, but, like, when you, when you catch that again. it. That again, that's what it Sorry. is. But when you catch it, it's so, like, it, it, like, catches your attention every time when, like, the camera angle is tilted every other, like, shot. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, so Thor's down, Thor's down there. It's not that great. A lot of people, I know somebody that likes it, like, a, that, like that movie guy, John Campia, that I was talking about. That's, like, one of his favorite Marvel movies. But uh, then I have Thor 3. Here's a, okay, I'll say this. It's a really fun movie, and it's really funny and stuff. Um, but it feels like a spoof of a comic book movie. It doesn't feel like an actual comic movie because there's so, there's so many jokes in it. It feels like there's like somebody's making a spoof of a comic book movie. So that's why it's like low on the list of Marvel movies, but like mm-hmm. it's still like a good, like fun movie. Right. But it's okay. Then I have uh Age of Ultron, like Avengers Two. Understandable. It's like it was okay when I saw it. Sorry. It wasn't like I just that recently good. rewatched it. What'd yeah. you think? I don't know. The ending was really disappointing. I forget what the ending was. Like just like the like the like, ending like, of the, like the whole like, the, like whole, the ending like, of the cl- climax and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it was okay. All right, and then like, oh my God, what I I can't remember his name, but like Quicksilver. Quicksilver, he yeah, dies on a piece. pun. He dies on a pun. Yeah, didn't see that coming. Mm-hmm. And he dies. Yeah, a lot of people were like, oh, because like it's all it's like theorized. <laughs> Sorry, 
that just <laughs> does a weird burp okay so it's, it's been theorized that like the there's time travel in like the new movie uh, just because, like, there's, like, there's like set pictures of, like, people in, like, their Avengers 1 outfits and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, like, then there's, like, also Ant-Man's there and stuff, too. And so they're, like, oh, so, like, certain characters time travel. And then people were, like, oh, they can time travel and save Quicksilver. But I'll, this is one of my this is one of my gripes with the Marvel movies is that they do so many fake deaths. And Quicksilver's the one death they, have like, were, like, no, he's dead. And we're keeping him that way. Like, Loki's died, like, three times. Granted, I think he's, like, for reals dead now against... Sorry for the spoiler if you haven't seen that, but again, you don't care if you haven't seen it by now. Right. Um. So I'm pretty sure Loki's Loki's dead now, but he like died like three times before that. Uh, I forget like who else is like like the Iron Man almost died in like the first Avengers movie, but then like right. he didn't die and stuff like that. There's like there's been Coulson like Agent Coulson in the first Avengers. Remember the guy that had yep. like the cards? He like actually survived that. He's in the Agents of Shield show. No. Yeah, he survived really? that. He's he didn't die. So there's so many, like, fake-out deaths in the Marvel movies. And a lot of other people say this. This isn't, like, an original thought. Like, a lot of other people have the same gripe. Um, but, like, the one thing that, like, they kept is Quicksilver dying. So I hope they don't bring him back. It's because no one cared for him. Yeah. I, do, you, do you do you like Quicksilver? Not in those movies. He's in the X- <laughs> so, Okay, so so Quicksilver, again, I'm going to go a bit, like, sweaty nerd on you re- really quick. So Quicksilver, uh, the rights to him are owned by both Fox and Marvel because he's an Avengers character, but he's also an X-Men character. Like, Quicksilver okay. is actually the son of Magneto, like, in the comic really? books. Yeah, him and Scarlet Witch are the sons or daughter of Magneto. Um, I don't think they have... I don't think they own Scarlet Witch, though, Fox, for some reason. But anyway, so, Quicksilver is also in the X-Men movies as well. He's in, like... I think he first shows up in Days of Future Past, and he's also in, like, Apocalypse and stuff. Mm-hmm. He's really good in those movies. He has, like, some really cool scenes and stuff. Um, is it the same actor? No, no, it's okay, a different actor. Okay. That'd be funny if it was the same actor, though. <laughs> but it was funny because, like, uh, they announced that he was going to be in Days of Future Past, which came out the same year as Avengers, like, Age of Ultron. So they were like, there's two movies coming out the same year from different companies using the exact same character. And it was like, I think, like, which one's going to be better? The X-Men one's much better than this one. I don't, I'm not a big fan of this character. Oh, honestly, okay. But, I I, think... but honestly, like, I haven't seen, like, Ultron, like, Age of Ultron in, like, forever. So I don't remember a whole lot of it. I remember like the main parts of it. I do remember I liked the party scene at the beginning of it, like when they're in like the Avengers Tower and it's like a party or whatever. Mm-hmm. I thought that was really like a comfy scene, like it was really cozy. And, like when they're all like picking up, trying to pick up his hammer and stuff like that. I like the scene. Where, I like that scene. I like the scene where Captain America is just chopping wood in the back. That's, that's a good scene <laughs> it's a great too. Scene. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So that's so that's my next like one on the list of going up. Then I have Iron Man two. Uh that was the first marvel movie that i ever saw so i have a bit of like fond memories of it i saw it like while my dad was you know me and my dad were dog sitting for another person mm-hmm. and then we were just like sitting on like the couch watching tv and then like it came on and i just watched it. and that was my first time i ever saw a marvel movie and i was like oh this is actually really good and i really like this so i have a bit of more fond memories of that um but we're getting into like the like really good parts of it like, I'm the, other one, the other ones were good like they weren't like bad mm-hmm <coughs> I'm really surprised you have Iron Man three so high because you haven't said it's it. It's very high. Is it not like extreme? It's but it's pretty high. I wish I had numbers on here because I would have like. Right. But okay, so after Iron Man two, I have Black Panther. Okay. It's also it's like a good movie, but I don't think like I don't I don't think number one it's like the best like Marvel movie of this year because like Infinity War came out and I think it's much better and stuff. Um, and I think I even have Iron Man two higher than it. Uh, wait, I don't even think I have it on my list. Iron Man two. Oh well, well Ant-Man 2 is something. Oh no, it is. It's like two movies higher than this, but uh, it's a good movie. But mm-hmm. like everybody was like raving about it because obviously like it's a very like uh like it's as a groundbreaking film. Like it's like one of the first like you know huge African American superhero movies. Like of course there was like Blade and stuff like that that came out right. in like, the early two thousands. But like comic book movies weren't like as big then as they are now. Mm-hmm. Um, but like as in terms of a movie, it's like a good movie. But I have this one like fatal like flaw that it has. And so basically, okay, so have you seen it? No. Okay, well, spoilers, joking. I, I don't care. Um, I'll watch it one day. <laughs> so basically, uh, the way that, like, the T'Challa, like, once, like, his dad, so his dad was king before him, but then, like, he died in, like, Civil War. Mm-hmm. So he, uh, he's, like, next in line to be king. But when he, before he can become king, any challenger can, like, come up and, like, challenge him for, like, the throne and, like, combat. And so that's how, like, people become king. So, like, Michael B. Jordan's character eventually challenges him some point in the movie. And so he challenges him. And so, like, Michael B. Jordan's character basically just wins. He basically just, like, he, he beats him clean. Mm-hmm. And, like, he throws him, like, off the, off a mountain, basically. Um, and people think he dies. 
spoiler alert, Black Panther doesn't die. But so Michael B. Jordan becomes king. So Black Panther, they find him or whatever. He's like frozen by like, he's like being kept like another tribe or whatever. They find mm-hmm. him, they unthaw him, and then he's like, okay, let's go beat him or whatever. And then like, he comes back and he wins. The thing is, there was no progression of the character there. He lost clean, and then he just came back and won clean. He did nothing differently. There was nothing that he didn't like learn anything from it where he's like, okay, I messed up here, but I'm not going to like do this. Like, I'm going to do it differently this next right. time. There's nothing different minus the fact that like, he has the Black Panther like serum, but the other guy has a Black Panther's like fruit or whatever it is mm-hmm. in him too. So they're still evenly matched, but like there's no progression of like, T'Challa's character to where like he can now beat him clean. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but it's still overall it's still a good movie. It's just like it's just that one fly that when I walked out, I was like, wait a second, that's like, did, am I missing something? Mm-hmm. Did I like, did I fall asleep during part of it? But I've seen it multiple times, so mm-hmm. like, do you keep falling asleep during that? Yeah, one during part? the exact same part. Uh, okay, this is, I don't want to go too off, but. Um, so back to solo really quick. So I've seen that. I went to see it twice in theaters. I actually did fall asleep for both of them at the exact same point during the Kessel and I fell asleep during both of them, which is like the climax kind of, did you eventually end up watching it? No, I haven't watched the Kessel. Run so you yet. don't know it. No, I haven't like, <laughs> no, I haven't seen it yet, but I don't really don't want to. Cause like the rest of the movie, I don't like, um, just skip to the scene with the Kessel run. Yeah. I, I guess I could else. do that. Um, I think it's on Netflix. I think you're right. Yeah, I could pretty do that. Sure it is. Um, okay, so then after Black Panther, I have Civil War. It's again, it's it's a pretty good movie, but mm-hmm. like, I don't know. I think some other movies better than it. It's good. Uh, then Ant Man and the Wasp. Then Captain. Then the first Captain America. I used to not like the first Captain America, but then the more the more I rewatch it, the more I like it. Like mm-hmm. each time. Then uh, Ant Man, like the first Ant Man. Then the first Avengers. Then then Iron Man three. I'll, I can count from where I'm. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's my seven, like movie from the top. It's like that's my number seven movie out of the Marvel movies. I don't get why like Iron Man three gets so much hate. That's what I don't get either. I, I mean, me and Joey saw it in theaters. I had a blast with it. I did loved Joey that like it? I don't know. I think I, at the time he might have liked it, but I don't. I'm sure if I asked him again, he might be like, "No, it wasn't I that good." I really, really like Iron Man three. It me co- too. It's like, I think it even. Top I think three. I think it's like the best like demonstration of tony's character because mm-hmm. like he has to like do stuff without the iron man suit and stuff and he's a lot more down to earth and stuff i don't know it's just great it's like it brings his character down to earth and like without the suit and stuff right. for the most part i mean there's st- parts with the suit obviously it's, i love that movie i think it's great mm-hmm. then i have dr strange obviously you haven't seen it i'll say this i don't think it's my best it's not my favorite uh like movie and even walking out of it i didn't think it was my favorite movie but like after i walked out of it like i was like i i like I really love the character because I wasn't that like I I knew who Doctor Strange was but I never like knew that like was got it that into the character before mm-hmm. this and then once I watched the movie I was like wow I really love this character it's really great um so yeah that's really good then Homecoming it's not my favorite Spider Man movie but it's what still favorite? a really good one um my favorite one's the first Amazing Spider Man I love that movie I've watched it like at least fifty times I'm not like not not even exaggerating I love that movie. The second one, not very good. But the first Amazing Spider-Man, I love it. I think Homecoming is my favorite Spider-Man movie. But mm-hmm. if we're like, talking non-MCU, yeah, probably Spider-Man 3. Which I know that gets a lot of flack, too. Really? I know. I don't know. Wow. I, think, I think it's kind of interesting. Okay. That's fair. I guess because you're not like, a big superhero guy. so. And I think... Outside of Iron Man, Spider Man's pretty much my favorite, like superhero. Oh, okay. So cool. It's kind of interesting. That, like, I'm sure like they did a terrible job at like adapting the story of Venom. In like, like Iron Man three. Th- no, Spider-Man, 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 Okay, then I have Winter Soldier. That was my favorite one for a while. Um, when it first, like, first came out, it was Captain America Winter Soldier. I think that that movie's great. Then I have... Okay, I do, I do have Volume 2 next. So Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I love the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Galaxy movies. They're just a blast when you see them in theaters. Right. Like I, when I, and it, so then I, next I have the first Guardians of the Galaxy. And when I saw that in theaters, I stepped out and I was like, wow. Like, that was great. Like, I, lo- I loved that movie when I walked out of it. And then Infinity War, which is just like... It was crazy. 
like i've never like walked out of a movie theater with like my like jaw like legitimately dropped like like not like figuratively like literally walking out with my mouth open i did that for that movie like i walked out i was like what did i just see that was crazy it was really really good yeah i love infinity war but that's my marvel i don't have a list of dc movies um but like talking about like the current continuity not 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 like the dark knight those are great movies i love those movies um but like the current like like expanded universe kind of that they have going on where it's like the, all the movies are connected mm-hmm. um man of steel i love man of steel it's all right i love man of steel it's, all right. it's a great movie it's an okay I, movie. people people give it too much flack it's an okay movie then batman vs superman came out okay <laughs> everybody hates batman vs superman when i walked out of that i was like i love that movie <laughs> i don't love it now but i think it's still a good movie and i have the extended cut but even without the extended cut i think it's good um does the extended cut fix anything? It adds some scenes, which are like kind of crucial to the story. Like they have Clark going around as a reporter. They have some more with like some other characters and stuff. Okay. Um, then they had then well, Suicide Squad came out next. I think. I hate Suicide Squad. I hate that movie. I think it's terrible. Um, I haven't seen the extended cut of that, but I really don't want to see the extended <laughs> cut of that because it looks terrible. Right. Um, then Wonder Woman, I think, was next. If I'm not mistaken. I think it was Wonder yes. Woman next. Yes. Wonder Woman, it's like a good movie. And again, it was also kind of groundbreaking. It was like the first like female led, you know, big superhero movie um, right. of like the modern like, you know, times or whatever. Uh, and it was good. But it was like a very like cut and cut and dry superhero movie. It wasn't like anything special, I don't think. I think it was a good movie, but the story was very like simple and like it moved really fast or whatever. So it was good, but it wasn't like great. I didn't have like anything. I wasn't like raving when I came out of it. Right. Did you see Wonder Woman? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> I haven't watched a DC movie since Batman vs Superman. Oh, okay. Because I don't really. So then, then we have Justice League. Tell me about it. I I don't like that movie either. I don't hate it as much as Suicide Squad, but I don't like Justice League. Um. So I have like a love hate relationship with DC because like they're my favorite like comic book company. Like the the comic book characters, I think they have the better characters. Like I love like Robin's like my favorite comic book character or like fictional character for the most part of all mm-hmm. time. Actually, not fictional. There's, like, their Star Wars characters and stuff, and, like, Caesar and stuff uh, from Rise of the Planet of the Apes. But, like, for comic books, Robin, like, Batman, and I, like, those, that's my that's my, my jam. I love DC. Um, but, like, with the movies, Dark Knight movies are fantastic. I love Man of Steel. Um, and I actually, I do like Batman Superman. But, like, the other ones have just been, like, eh. Eh. eh so, like, there's some really bad. good ones and some bad ones. Yeah, or bad. Bad. Aquaman comes out th- this month. I'm very excited for it. I think it looks really? good. I think it looks good. Although, okay, so it it's, gonna, it's not gonna do well. So like that weekend, it, it comes out the twenty first. That weekend is like jam packed with like movies, like it like out the wazoo with movies. And how many people do you think are gonna sit down, look at that list of movies, and go, "Oh yeah, Aquaman"? And see Aquaman. Okay, well let's see what the list are. Okay, so there's Aquaman. I'm not looking at a list. I'm going off the top of my head. So there's Aquaman, Mary Poppins, uh, uh, Gear, not Gears of War, but it's like it's the that's a video game obviously but like it's like the something it's like where, it's basically where like the cities are like on wheels have you seen that no. i forget the name of it it's like gears of something i think um but basically it's like where like london's like on wheels and stuff it's like something like that it's based on a book sounds cool so that comes out um then there's okay so i said aquaman mary poppins that alita battle angel that looks okay i'm not very excited for that uh welcome to marwin would uh steve carell that looks i think that looks really good i'm really excited for that one um bumblebee comes out then with john cena i guess it's like because most of transformer movies are terrible i guess this one's actually pretty decent i saw a funny tweet where somebody was like uh i heard john cena is supposed to be in bumblebee but i couldn't see him (laughs) or i was like that was worried much better like when i first thought i was like wait he isn't in the movie like he was like i couldn't see him anywhere in it and i was like they they really cut his scenes out and then i was like oh wait a second (laughs) Um, but, I heard how like the Bumblebee Twitter account basically trashed all the other Transformers movies by saying like this, this is the highest rated like Transformers movie there there ever has been. Yeah, I them. I only the only one I can remember is the first one, but like I've seen the other ones too and they're not very good. The only one I remember is the first one. I think it's all right with like uh, Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, as I'm st- trying to as re- Steve Wickwicky or whatever his name which, is. Which is the one that like ends in the desert? In the desert. I don't. I don't think that's the first one. Optimus Prime dies. Oh. I think that that's the one. Be, that's the third one. I think. That is the no. One. How many has there been? There's been five, right? With Shia LaBeouf. No, or... no, not with Shia LaBeouf. There was Shia LaBeouf in that one. Yes. I think that's the third one then, because then, then the fourth one. 
I almost said episode four. The fourth one has is the last night, I think, or is it Age of, or is it the Extinction one? There's 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 the two last ones have been with Mark Wahlberg, who I guess he has I forget what his the name of his character is, but I guess he plays like a dick character in it. I haven't <laughs> seen him, but um, and so one of them is like Transformers: The Last Night, and one of them is Transformers: Age of Extinction. I don't know which one which one which four or five. Mm-hmm. But the, the, those are the two last ones. And then the three before that were with Shia LaBeouf. So I think uh, the third one is the one that you're talking about with, like, when he dies. I'm pretty he sure. He comes back. Yeah, he comes back in all of them. He's always in them. <laughs> I think he's even in this one. He's even in Bumblebee and isn't even his movie. <laughs> um, Probably the same voice actor. Definitely the same voice actor. There's no reason to change him now. Probably. Um, but, yeah, so I'm excited for, like, almost all those movies. Maybe I'm probably not going to see Alita Battle Angel or maybe, like, the the – city on wheels ones mm-hmm. but i'm probably gonna see mary poppins i'm probably gonna see aquaman definitely gonna see welcome to Marwin, and then maybe bumblebee but like i don't have a whole lot of money i mean actually i think the back christmas is coming up so i'm probably gonna have some more money but um that's like a lot to like see coming up i haven't even like there's like i've, I've been off the ball with movies like a lot of the movies that are out right now i haven't seen mm-hmm. so i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do something but we'll see I actually only really have to get like one more Christmas present for my older brother. Oh, oh, for like buying Christmas gifts, right? And I don't, I don't know what to get him, because I, I bought Nate Smash. I'll tell I, you what to get him. What? Um, I saw this in a video, mm-hmm. uh, on YouTube. Uh, basically, so some this person that I, uh, I'm subscribed to now, uh, her name is Megan Batoon. I think she's really funny. It might not be everybody's cup of tea, but maybe check her out. Um, she did a video where she was like. Uh, I'm gonna go over like like the gifts that you can get for like everybody in your life, like dad, mom, boyfriend, or whatever, uh, girlfriend, you know, sister, brother. And so then, basically, what the video turned into was just a different coffee mugs for everybody. <laughs> and so, but so there was one of them in the, there was one of them in the video where it's a basketball coffee mug, but it's supposed, it's supposed to be for like hot chocolate and stuff. But you can I guess you can use it for coffee. Mm-hmm. And so it has a hoop in it, and you're supposed to use the marshmallows as a basketball. <laughs> Um, but get him that. Find me the link. Okay, I'll get. I'll it's get probably, you the link. It's probably really cheap too. I'll get you the link for I'm it. I'm totally getting him that. Uh, so you said, but other than that, you don't have any ideas for him. Yeah. Like at all. Yeah. I, I bought Nate Smash. I bought Nina Spyro. Mm-hmm. Oh, you better hope they don't listen to this. <laughs> they already know. Oh, uh, Okay. Nate already has Smash. He uh, already got okay. his gift early. Okay. So I might need to get Nate something else because mm-hmm. he already got his gift, but Nina doesn't. Nina yeah. asked me for Spyro, so. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm. I have like some of my Christmas shopping done. Last night, uh, not last night, Friday night, uh, when we were driving up to Maine, uh, my dad was like, "Okay, you like to me and my sister because we were both in the car." He was like, "You each can get like two hundred fifty, like dollars to just go on Amazon or whatever and just get whatever you want." Uh, and so I was like, I got all the stuff that I really wanted for the most part, but I still have leftover money in my thing. Well, so, so I was like, mm-hmm. so I asked my dad, I was like, hey, can I just use the rest of it to get like my, buy some of my Christmas gifts for like other people? Because like mm-hmm. that cost me money and stuff. And so I'd rather get that than like search for something that I might want for like an extra 40 bucks or whatever. So I ordered my sister, uh, one of her Christmas presents. She might listen to this. So I'm not going to say what it is. Um, although it's, it's going to come late. So I probably going to give it to her for her birthday because her birthday's next month. And then, um, I also had like 10 bucks left over, so I got her a smaller Christmas gift. But I still have to go. I want to get it. There's a, there's a video game that I want to get her because she plays PlayStation and stuff. Um, she probably If she hears this, she'll probably know which one it is because I kept nagging her about getting it. Uh, spoiler, like whatever. Um, and then I have to get something for my mom still. I have like a small thing for her, but I still have to get her like her big like main present. And then I still have to get my dad's like presents too. But that's like all I'm doing this year because like I said, I'm not doing the friends thing um so i'll probably get those done sometime this weekend yeah sorry joker maybe i'll get you something thanks maybe. We'll see. thanks jason maybe i'll get an extra laser pointer for you thanks can really use a laser pointer yeah pew, pew. Mm-hmm. uh well speaking about youtube now well actually I'm, i feel like i'm the only person that's uh bringing up topics joker you got anything that you want to do you got anything you want to <laughs> say anything that's on your mind right now yeah i got i got something that's pretty much on my mind right now okay hit me with it when I went to work on a Friday, mm-hmm. I was about this. I was buttering up this couple, right? Buttering them up. Ooh. They were buying everything. They were getting a laptop with all the works. All the works. All the works. I'm talking the warranty. I'm talking the PC setup, the antivirus. Mm-hmm. 
a mouse keyboard case Ooh. would have been would have been amazing yeah, and i got them to, sale. got them to sign up for the credit card Ooh. they got denied they're like their credit card got denied. They got they got denied, so they needed to leave to like go like go home and like find uh find another way to pay. Because mm-hmm. I I don't know if they were, what they were trying to do like pay. How are they gonna like pay for it then? Yeah, I don't know, but they left and now it's somebody else's sale. Cause I already know they came back. Oh, when somebody else picked them up. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. I don't get any of that. And I Damn. was the one that butted them up. Mm-hmm. So someone at Staples is like, <laughs> "Yeah, they yeah. Took, took, got your scraps. It's kind of like sucked them off the board, like the little crumbs that you left." Right. Yeah. But I still, I got the credit card sign up. Oh, okay. So, that, so like, the credit that. card sign up was under my yeah. numbers, mm-hmm. so I get like benefits for that. Yeah. We have like a staple system called like Staple Star Points mm-hmm. instead of like giving us money like for commission. I think you told me about this. Yeah. Yeah, and I have like two hundred fifty points, and I can buy something like for like fifty dollars with that. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Do you get a bonus for Christmas? Nope. No. Yeah, I don't think I do either because I'm a part time employee. But right. that's all right. I have a Christmas, I mean, office Christmas party coming up on Tuesday, mm-hmm. and so uh, I kind of dared myself, but I kind of twisted it so it's like people dared me to do it. But I but I went to a group chat with like me and my, like my friends who are also like my coworkers, and I was like, "Do you guys dare me to wear my prom tuxedo to the office Christmas party?" You still have it? Yeah, I bought you it. You rent it? No, I bought it. Cause it, a lot. it wasn't that much, actually. I think it was only like maybe a little less than 200 That's how much it cost me to like rent. Well, maybe you should have gone to some place where I went to. Maybe Where'd you go? You go? I went to the Braintree Mall, someplace in the the Braintree Mall I got it. Oh, I went to Men's Warehouse. Yeah, that's that was where, you, where you started was a bad move. Um, <laughs> hey, Colby and um Paul. like Were they I, there? Yeah. Oh. They, like right after we left, like they walked. Oh, into so they were door. walking in when you were walking out. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, so but yeah, so I was like, "Do you guys dare me to burn my prom tux to the Christmas party?" It's at it's at Hibachi, and they were like, "Yeah, sure." And I was like, "Sweet, I got there to do it." <laughs> really, it was just me wanting to wear my prom tux to, to the thing. Right. But I wanted like an excuse to do it, so I had them dare me. Um. So I'm very excited for that, and then. This this week we're filming like I I said I wrote the script for the Jesse Rose Show Christmas Special but we're filming the rest of it this week not the rest of it we haven't even started filming it it's a musical better hurry up it's a musical yeah so we have to make the music for it too um well we're, we we have the instruments we just have to sing we just have to make the like the songs for it and then so when we like film the scenes we can like have it so it matches up with the songs that we recorded like we'll play the songs in the background to like lip sync to you probably should have, like already made I literally the just songs. texted my friend about it. Like just now, he asked, "Hey, can you give me the list of the songs that three minutes ago was when he texted me?" Um, but yeah, so uh, we have to, like I said, we have to go to Boston on Thursday to do that. Also, so I wrote it. I I was kind of stupid for doing this, but I wrote it like revolving his parents, like my friend Jesse's parents, who like don't like to be on camera a lot. But like, it basically, it's like we're kind of ripping off Elf. Like he has to go find his real dad. Okay. <laughs> uh, I won't give away the reveal at the end, but we need like his dad for a lot of it. And so he's like, my dad will only be there for like the last scene. He won't do the rest of it. <laughs> and we're like, okay, well, can we can work around like the majority of it, but can we at least get him for like the first scene also? And he was like, I don't know, I'll, I'll try, but you guys were the ones that wrote my dad into the script. <laughs> uh, so fingers crossed that his dad will agree to it and they'll get it done. Because we have to get it done by next Tuesday because that's when Christmas is. So right. and we want it out before then. But so yeah, so if you're listening to this and this comes out before Christmas, uh, check out the Jesse Rose for Christmas special. It'll probably come out on Christmas Eve, actually, not Christmas. And that's like we're on a time crunch. We have to put it out on Christmas. But I got something to watch on Christmas yeah, Eve. Yeah, you then. can just go on Jesse Rose Show on YouTube, and you'll probably be able to find it. You can find the other two if you don't want to just watch that one, if you mm-hmm. want to watch the other two, too. Um, and so that's really my plans for this week is just do all that. And, like, finals, I guess. But that's a, that's what my week's kind of consisting of right now. It's going to be very busy. Busy, mm-hmm. busy, busy. Um and then, like, I don't think I have, like, oh, wait, do I have, oh, yeah, I have the, f- so I filmed the hockey games for work, so that's starting up, so I got to do that on Wednesdays, like, the first day of it. Right. So, oof, I got, oof, my, I got a busy week. Your schedule's packed. It's very packed. Uh, how, how's, how's your schedule, Joe Clinton? Is it uh, uh, packed? No, I'm just going to go to work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Nice. I want to go to a Smash tournament, but. Joe is busy with finals. 
Oh yeah, yeah. So, um, oof. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to Twitter now. Now it makes sense when I say let's go back to Twitter. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. And so I kind of talked to you very. I kind of like hinted at what I was gonna talk about. Uh, because okay, so SpongeBob. There's the Super Bowl. I don't know if anybody else is listening has seen this, but so there's like, of course, like there's the iconic SpongeBob scene where they play the Super Bowl and they mm-hmm. they sing "Sweet Victory." Um, so there's been like a petition because the uh, Stephen Hillenburg, the creator of SpongeBob, died, and so mm-hmm. they're like, "Let's get you guys need to do this now in like honor of him." Actually, play that song during the Super Bowl. Um, I don't know if you've seen this yet, Jacqueline, because I obviously you know that the petition's going on. But where the Super Bowl is being held, the Mercedes Benz Dome, they have an official Twitter account. Yeah, they tweeted a picture, like a GIF, a sponge, like the SpongeBob GIF where he's in the suit and he's doing like the dance, like that. Yeah, they just tweeted that like a couple days, like either today or a couple days ago. No way. So I don't know what that means. If they actually are going to do it, or if they're just like playing off to the crowd and like just making just making the meme like get night even hotter. But I hope that they do it. That'd be so funny. Though. I don't even know how they do. Would they like just play it on the screen, or would they actually have like some kind of <laughs> bubble come out with like just like sp- a sponge set up in there and like play it? That'd be so funny if they did that. But there's no way. It's weird too because like Nickelodeon recently uploaded like a video of Sweet Home, like after Steven Hillenburg's death. I mean, Sweet Victory. Sweet Victory, yeah. Sweet Home, <laughs> Sweet Victory. Yeah. So like they know about it. Yeah. I, I hope it happens. I really do hope it happens. It's not going to happen, though. I think they might. I think it's, I think there's a chance. I think there's a chance that it happens. I really hope. That, I'll say what I don't want to happen. I don't want people to, like, come dressed up in, like, a SpongeBob costume. Like, a big bulky that you see on, like, a Nickelodeon cruise or whatever. Like, SpongeBob right. costume. Right. And do it. I either want them to just be play, just play it on, like, the Jumbotron or something. Or get like just like a fake like bubble with like just like a regular like, kitchen sponge in there like a starfish and there's stuff no there. way they're doing that i think it'd be so funny if they did that i f- hope it does okay but think about it this is the super bowl and your point is what is like the primary age for like people that watch the super Bowl? oh you're right no but like the, when that that was one of the like not early episodes but it was like 2005 in that episode was like around then wasn't I'm it? I'm saying like it's around like 40 to 50 year olds. Well, you? yeah, but still like the people that like grew up. I mean, obviously like we're not that old yet, and we kind of grew up with it a bit. But like so there's some people that grew up with that episode that are adults now that like are watch football and stuff. Like okay, like tw- like college college kids watch, like watch football a lot and stuff. That's a big demographic of the. Yeah, but it's easy to explain to like. It's easy to explain to, like, old people, like, why this current pop star is doing the halftime show. Yeah, I guess. And then and then they just see Spongebob playing yeah. on it. They're going to be like, what well, the they hell could, is they this? Could, they could just say at the beginning, like, in memory of, of like, the creator of Spongebob or whatever. Yeah. I don't think it's going to happen, though. We'll see. I hope it's it It's wishful does. thinking. Yeah. I, I hope it does, too, because it mm-hmm. would actually make the Super Bowl interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, also, I saw this on Twitter. This this whole episode is just a bunch of stuff from Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, it's been Twitter's been hot this past couple of weeks. So I saw this tweet on Twitter. It's from Peta. Uh, do you, Do you know Peta? I know who Peta is. Yeah. I think I know what you're talking about too. Do you? Okay. I I do. So, so Peta for people that don't know what Peta is, um, I don't know that the exact like thing stands. Like, people for the ethnic, eth- ethical treatment, treatment of animals. animals. Yep. Yeah. So basically, it's just like. For, it's like if you've seen like the like dogs in cages like it's not the aspca commercials but like PETA's done like some commercials where it's like the animals in cages and stuff they're basically for like animal rights it's like an animal rights group right so they they made a tweet and i'm gonna i'm gonna read it word for word so this is what they tweeted the other day uh they tweeted this when they tweet it on the fourth and they said words matter and as our understanding of social justice evolves our language evolves along with it here's how to remove species speciesism or speciesism from your daily conversations and i think this is funny because people that like are listening to this won't know but like one of our early episodes that we try to record of the first episode i talked about getting a mice or a mouse not a mice a mouse or and i talked about going to petco and getting my dog a halloween costume and i said i was going to get her a taco because she was a chihuahua and like i was like that might be like specious because she's a chihuahua and i'm getting her a taco mm-hmm. and so this says speciesism and I, I made a joke about being specious <laughs> but so they made okay so then they added a picture to this tweet so this is about uh using your, how language evolves so like you're not using speciesism in your language so they had a chart 
I'm going to read off the chart to you. Have you seen this joke? And I, I think you've seen, seen this. Chart, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's okay. So the, the caption of it just says, stop using anti-animal language. And it says, instead of using kill two birds with one stone, use feed two birds with one scone. <laughs> instead of using be the guinea pig, use be the test tube. Instead of saying beat a dead horse, say feed a fed horse. <laughs> instead of saying bring home the bacon, say bring home the bagels. And instead of saying take the bull by the horns, say take the flowers by the thorns. And so I was like, okay, this is kind of cute, but like they're being serious. Like this is a real tweet. It's like a meme. It's like, <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's just. That's like it's that's that's a bit out of hand. Did you like, see people's like reactions to it? I think so, but I don't. None of them like stood out in my head. I don't like have any off the top of my head. I don't remember like what sparked it, but like here I'm gonna I'll, I'll go down the the replies really quick. Something about like pitas were like the ethical ethical treatment for animals translated <laughs> okay. to like they euthanized like like a million cats or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, so the first reply. It's just like the, the the tweet itself is just like the clapping emoji, and then the, the it's a it's their own chart, and it says stop using anti Thanos language, and it says instead of saying you look beautiful, say perfectly balanced as all things should be, instead of saying I'm sorry for your loss, say I'm sorry little one, and it's basically just a bunch of Thanos quotes. Okay, um, then there's something that says. So you're advocating violence against flowers now for the Kanye West head, like Gif shaking his head. Um, then uh, somebody just replied and they said, it's a picture and it says, when Peter suggests saying feeding a fed horse instead of beating a dead horse, but you realize that counts as overfeeding, which is animal abuse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not going to go through any more, but those are, some, those are some good replies. Yeah, I, when I first saw it, I was like, okay, okay, Peter, I see you. That's okay. Um, Peter, it's a joke. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of a joke. You in a phone call, Jokelyn? <laughs> Hold on, he's showing me. Wait, the Pixel doing? added this thing called Screen Call, which allows people to like say what they want <laughs> without like picking up the phone I, or whatever. I, it, it turned around. I, <laughs> she hung up. Yeah, she hung up on it. <laughs> Boo. But, uh, yeah, so, oh, I, so, no, I won't say, that's not very important. I was going to say that I think, I thought there was a mouse in my house, uh, because, so you know how you, when when we left last, last time you were here, after we filmed the podcast, we, uh, we went down and I was going to my car to bring you home and you said you thought you saw a rat in my basement. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's probably a mouse because I have a mouse in my basement. So later, it was either about later that night or the next night, I went downstairs to like grab like a snack or something from like my like kitchen and like my door to my garage was like open and like my mom was like already like asleep or whatever right. and i was like oh no like this just it's like the perfect opening for that mouse to come up and just like hang out in my house now i was like there's a good chance there's a mouse in my house and i was like freaking out uh my mom said that she has seen it recently though so it's in the basement like that not in the house it's like she saw it recently in like our garage okay good so uh there isn't a mouse in my house which is good although it has a nice ring to it i've seen house of mouse house with mouse house, house of, of mouse house of mouse yeah the disney the Mickey show, mouse, the Mickey yeah, mouse like, show. just shows so much of old disney Great shows show. yeah. yeah love that show yep. people go check out check out house of mouse Mm-hmm. When when I so I have mouse in my house in my notes and I whenever I looked at it I was like am I talking about House of Mouse like what am I talking about and then I was like oh yeah that's what talk, I wanted to talk about can we talk about House of Mouse do you want to talk about House of Mouse what what, what do you got to say about House of Mouse I don't have like a whole lot because like I I haven't seen like full episodes like in a long time I've only seen the specials recently on that are on Netflix but I remember right. loving it as a kid but they have like the Christmas special on Netflix and the Halloween special on Netflix which mm-hmm. were, which are great. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, yeah, I love it's like basically like just like Jimmy Fallon, but it's <laughs> no, actually, it's not like Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon interviews people, but it's just like it's a talk show with Mickey Mouse where he just like shows you old Disney cartoons and it's just a good old time. It's, right. it's just and they have like a little side story that usually goes on, like while like in between like them showing stuff with like the characters, and it's just like nice. And you see all the different Disney characters in the crowd and stuff. It's a good, it's a good time. Highly see just House of Mouse. Um, not sponsored, yeah, not sponsored. Disney sponsor us. Yeah. Sponsor us, sponsor for, us your, for, for a show, you 
you're you're going to soon take off Netflix. I, well, so the Halloween one's usually on there year round. The Christmas, yeah. the Christmas one, I don't know why. Oh yeah, because you're right, because Disney's pulling stuff because like they have their own streaming service. You're right. My right. bad joke, but um, I, I okay. So I don't have like a whole lot of like other things on my list of stuff to talk about, but I did want to. I mean, do you have stuff on your list? Because I have like two. I have two last things, but they're kind of small. They're not let me, big. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what I got on my list. Get hit me with it. Hit me with the list. Christmas movies. The sale that almost was Peabody Potato Fact of the Day. Yeah. <laughs> Smash Ultimate Thoughts and Prayers. <laughs> in quotations, Tales DLC, please. Oh. Sonic movie with like a mm-hmm. bunch of dots after. Yeah. Wendy's chicken bacon maple sandwich. Ooh, let's talk about that. I love it when we talk about food because we usually go out and we get that food afterwards. So. I re- if we're going out like to get food, I know it's kind of late and you're mm-hmm. like you have that thing at eight. Yeah. And it's past it's eight past now. Eight, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if we're going, but if we are, uh-huh. I'm gonna get that sandwich. We're going to Wendy's if we. It's the it's literally the only thing I've liked at a Wendy's. Uh, like, okay, like yeah, everything we, else is mediocre we can or garbage. I'm so down. But the Wendy's chicken bacon maple sandwich mm-hmm. is so good. It's got it's got like crispy bacon. The, yeah. This maple syrup they put on it is delicious. They put like some sort of secret sauce. I don't know Ooh. what it is. It's mm, mm-hmm. it's like eight dollars for the meal though. Oh my god. It's expensive. Yeah. But so, like, if you don't want the meal, you can just get the sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll probably get that if we do go because like I found usually I usually stick to like my taste buds when I go to like a it's restaurant. Good. It's but good. like recently I've been like trying new things. Like I tried the chalupa like last like month. I right. tried like some other things from Taco Bell. I tried like they had like the uh, chicken and waffles. So I got the chicken and waffles and that was good. Uh, I got like a chicken sandwich from Wendy's recently by accident because I asked for a plain uh, junior bacon cheeseburger and I got home and they had a plain chicken sandwich and I was like, oh man, but then I ate it and it was like, I eat chicken patties. I used to eat them every day at school. This is right. great. I love this. Um, so I'm probably, I'm probably going to try. And also the, like the bacon king at Burger King I tried recently. So I'm, I've kind of been on an exploration of my taste buds. So I'll probably will end up getting that. It sounds really good. I'm going to get it again. Yeah. I went to, uh, I had to. So I had to drop off my dad's car because he got like heated seats put into his truck. Mm-hmm. And so we had to go to Norwood for them to do it. And so when we were at Norwood picking up his truck, we got Wendy's and it was like a new Wendy's. It was like the best Wendy's I've ever had. It was like nice and clean. My sandwich was like nice and straight. My right. nuggets weren't like gross. It was great. The Wendy's we have in our town is it's not ter- terrible. Yeah, it's not so good. Yeah. It's like it used to be all right, but now it's just like really like a rapidly Well, they gone, just haven't updated it ever that and also like like it doesn't have enough employees because it says like open till 2 a.m but it's never open till 2 a.m like sometimes the drive through i mean obviously the middle dining room isn't supposed to be open till like 2 a.m but like mm-hmm. there's like sometimes the drive through will be open till 2 a.m but like i've gone there before where like it's like three o'clock in the afternoon and the dining room's closed and they're just like oh we don't have enough people so you have to close the dining room early and it's like how how do you not have enough people for the dining well who room? do you want who do you do you think anybody wants to work at a Wendy's, especially that Wendy's? You have a point. You, when there's a McDonald's I mean, across the street I just don't and there's a Burger King. Yeah, I just don't want to work. Also, the, the KFC's updated. Have you seen it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I haven't been inside the updated it's only, version of it yet. But I've been, is the inside updated? Yeah, they updated the inside too. Man, It was closed for a while. Next week, KFC with your sister. Okay. Yeah, I remember my sister to KFC too. Uh, Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited to... Try that to now, now that you mentioned it. Well, what are we doing here? Let's go. Well, Let's well go. okay. <laughs> so was that the last thing that you had on your list? Was that? Oh, no. Uh, then I started writing like joke things. I wrote Garfield. <laughs> what, what was about Garfield? <laughs> you just wrote down Garfield? Cause you I, didn't, I, well, I had an idea. Like when you brought... When you were going to like bring up the Sonic movie, mm-hmm. and you're going to go, joke when there's a movie we got to talk about. Oh. <laughs> it was going to bust out the Garfield movie. Oh, my God. I kind of brought it up, so that's ruined. Yeah, um, my bad. Then I wrote Peabody yeah. Fact of the... <laughs> fact of the Day. Are you ordered no, again? I wrote Peabody Fact of the Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Your voice cracked. I know. It made it so much better. Uh-huh. And then I wrote Mesothelic... Mesothelic... Yoma? Mesothelioma uh, Garfield. Oh my gosh! What is the, the, we were on like this is, this is going so well, and now it's just like it's crashing and burning towards the end of this podcast. <laughs> Mesothelioma Field. Wait, joking. I just want to do this really quick, and I know, and you might like meme me really quick, and like be like, oh, 
Okay, you have my microphone set, right? What do you mean? Like it's my it's on my microphone on, on Audacity. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just, just for people, <laughs> if you don't cut this part out, just for people, for like, just so they know, we filmed a really good episode like two week, like three weeks ago, but Joker didn't have his mic on or my mic on, um. So I just want to check. Okay, but yeah, so this, this it's. So is that is that your full list now? You got everything out of your system. <laughs> Everything's out. Okay, I'm. Yeah, I'll finish off my list too. I, I would just I don't want I don't want to go strictly by the list. I kind of want to just bring up random stuff, but I'll go I'll 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 finish off my list just because these are like two smaller things that I don't want right. to like staying on for next week. Okay, so YouTube. What about it? I'm only bringing this up because the really good episode that we filmed. Going back to that, I talked about YouTube like a tiny bit, and Jokin was like, "No." Uh, when I talked about it, but basically, uh, I recently watched, uh, usually I recently got into Jenna Marbles <laughs> recently. Jokin's shaking his head. He's like, he's very disappointed. Okay. Listen, bef- uh, the, that- okay, listen. So I don't mean like her, her like old stuff. I'm, I've, I've watched her old stuff when it first came out. I wasn't a big fan of Jenna Marbles, but I f- recently found her, not recently, like, like last month at this point, but last month I found her channel and I was watching some of her videos. Very funny. I suggest you guys watching uh, her putting a beard on her face. I showed Joke when it, he had a good time with it. Don't lie, Joke. I did not. I did not. He's lying. He's uh, lying. So, but yeah, so, but I The video was just her putting so, a beard on. So it's, it's just strange though, because I'm like discovering these channels that are like pretty big that like I just haven't been watching for some reason. Like I recently, for, uh, for some reason, I've been watching uh, like the... Like the Dave, David Dobrik videos, do you know who that is? It's like I he's from he's from, he's from Vine. He's like some like vlogs kind of, but like they're actually pretty. They're kind of that's like very script. It's like scripted for the most not for the most part. But like parts of it are scripted, but like it's like obviously scripted. It's not like he's not like pretending that it's real. It's or I mean he is I guess per se, but like it, it's 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 very obviously scripted. It isn't like pretending to be something that it isn't. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like like I said that Megan Batune girl I recently watched. There's this is a girl. Uh, uh, Joanne Sidi, I think is her name. I think you would actually like that this channel. It's like very like meme, I guess to to explain it like the most bluntly. I don't know how to explain it, but it, it's, but yeah, I I suggest checking her out too. Uh, Joanne Sidi, she has she like blew up really quick. She like started in August and she already has like like a million subscribers. Um, but Just I've recently, but because of this, I've recently been like in like a mood to make youtube videos just because of all this like new content that i've been watching so i've actually made a couple like recently mm-hmm. i don't know if you've seen any of them joking i have not i'm very disappointed i will watch them no it's fine you don't you don't actually have to i just made them i'm, I'm gonna watch them um okay but They're yeah be uh they'll be fine but so it's just i've just been like in a very creative mood lately for some reason i've Glad made i've made one rec- recently that isn't up yet i, mm-hmm. I tried hot uh hot sauce like for Black Friday, I think I told you that I got a hot sauce set. Oh god, this sounds like a lot like up. a robotic bagel video. <laughs> oh, that would have been so funny if it was like a robotic bagel video. <laughs> I should have made it like a robotic. I should have made a parody. But basically, um, I just like went up the scales of a hot of like the hot sauce stuff. What are you doing? Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm pretending okay. to be Stu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. But yeah, and that's my little thing for YouTube. And then to finish to finish out everything. Uh, to finish out the podcast, to end it, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll we'll do it. We'll do a closer, but to end this part of the podcast, um, I thought I'd bring this up because I think it was like, it's it's always been in the back of my head, but I never like end up doing it. So I want to make a new Twitter account, not like get rid of mine. I want to make a new Twitter account called like Shoutouts or whatever, because like every once in a while I'll just like be doing something and like a random person's name will just pop in my head and I'll just like go shout out to and i'll just say their name um and i just want to like make a twitter account to where whenever i think of just somebody's name randomly i I can just tweet out shout out to and then put their name and i think it's very genius like in like if i get picked up it'd be so like funny to follow just like a random shout out uh channel uh twitter so that's my that's i might end up doing that if i i have to make a new email for it though and i don't know if i want to right (laughs) it was too much work for like this like i wish i wish like like how YouTube, you can have multiple channels for the same email. I wish it was like that, where I could just like make another uh, Twitter Twitter for my email. Um, but other than that, like that's it. That's that's rounded up my my whole list for the most part of like stuff I kind of wanted to talk about. Um, do you have any, got anything uh, else that you want to put up, like say before we do the closer? Well, you brought up YouTube. Uh, you brought up YouTube. Yes. Did you see the YouTube rewind? Oh yeah. Did yeah. you did you actually see it? I did see it, yeah. 
horrible. Not very good. Not very good at all. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. It's very, very cringy. I think the thing that like pissed me off about it was like they made it. They try to make it seem so like much like it was made like by like the creators and stuff, and it's like for the creators, but it's clearly not. This is like the like the least for the creators <laughs> one or whatever. Like it was clearly scripted. It was clearly that like they just like gave the people a script and they just said say this. This mm-hmm. you didn't make any of these decisions. It's yeah, it was not good at all. And also like the fight, I even though like it's like in theory it should be like a good part of it. I hated the part where it's like. Let's let let's uh, rec- take this time to recognize everybody that gave, because it's like you don't give a shit about who <laughs> gave. Let's no, don't let's not beat around the bush. You don't care, all right? You're just saying that because you want to have it make seem like a sad like sob like sob story type of thing where it's like exactly. we care about people, but it's exactly. it's so obviously just like phony. It's like it does it's not real at all. All the, but I will say this: I love like all the Will Smith memes and stuff. Ah, oh, that's hot. That's hot. Why is Will Smith here? So I know why Will Smith's here because like he has a YouTube Red original yeah. series or whatever. He has he also has a channel. I've watched a couple of his videos. It isn't that bad. Oh, but like, but, like obviously he isn't like a like a, a real like YouTuber YouTuber. I don't mind them bringing in like for the most part like like famous celebrities and stuff like that. But like, like I, I mean it's like for example, have you, did you watch like 2013 one when they had Jimmy Fallon on on it? He's on 2013. He's on, yeah, 2013. So basically, like it has like there's a scene where like Epic Meal Time people are like in like the desert like eating food while like mm. watching Jimmy Fallon on like a big screen as like he does like as like he has the YouTube play button and he's like doing like a thing. Like that was like very tasteful. I don't I don't remember this. Um, I do. Also, I, also, if somebody's listening to this and they saw the H three like video on the YouTube rewind, I stole that directly from him. Yes, I, I'll admit I stole that from H three made that comparison where he was like. He did a video about rewind, and then he was like, "Let's look at this one, and let's look at the 2013 one, which is like a beloved one." And let's see. I thought stuff. 2012 was like. I like 2012. Maybe I don't remember Even, a lot of them, but uh, it's the one with like Gangnam Styles, like the whole. Oh, uh, okay. There's Smosh. There's Annoying Orange. Mm-hmm. Uh, is is, is Ryan Hegan a plane in that one? Hmm. Does like uh, like Ryan Hega like he. Uh, oh, uh, not a, is he not in a, a plane? Not in a plane. He's in a spaceship. Okay. Yeah. I think I know which one you're talking about. But, yeah. but yeah, I wasn't a big fan of it. It was terrible. It was pretty bad. It's, it's probably not going to get better next year either. No. So. No, but and but now it's the most disliked video on YouTube. Oh, I know. I I saw like the ratio from like likes to dislikes. I I disliked it too. Um, <laughs> Me too. But like I could see that it was a big like terrible like ratio between the two it was like it was like at the time it was like one million to like four million but then i saw like one million to eight million and Dude, stuff like that remember when like it, the like the like and dislike ratio was like red and green oh it was like a bar yeah and like whenever it was so good or like so bad it would look like a lightsaber mm-hmm. i miss those jokes <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I'm, I'm just imagining like the tiniest little lightsaber little tiny handle green. yeah It'd be like for Yoda. He said they has a really long lightsaber. <laughs> and his lightsaber is like red, which oh, usually yeah. implies. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Yoda's got some issues. Yeah, we can talk about Star Wars next time because I got some stuff to talk about Star Wars. But we're already kind of at like an hour and forty-four minutes. 40. Oh, it went by really quick. Yeah, it went by really quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. So oh. should we should we close it? Yeah. Okay. I I open kind you want of. Want me to close it then? You close it. Okay. Uh, so. Thank you everybody for uh, watching and being here. If you made it this far, we really appreciate you for listening to the entirety of the uh, episode. Um, again, we want to thank Zach Flanagan for the music uh, provided. We want to thank Mia Sarkeesian for the logo provided. We have yet to see or listen to either of them, but we're sure they're great. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, Jokin, where can they find you? Where can the people find you? Uh, Twitter, YouTube, Snapchat. Instagram, mm-hmm. all at Twelve Star. I made an Instagram, by the way. Recently, yeah. I'll follow you. Don't. Okay. I, I won't. don't plan on using it. Okay, I won't. Um, yeah, you can follow me on like Instagram and Twitter at capupski six, and then my YouTube is just Jason Ellis. If you just look up Jason Ellis, you can't find me because uh, there's so many Jason Ellis's. But if you look up like some of my video titles are like, uh, one of them is Merry Christmas. Like, take out the. <laughs> And just put Merry Christmas as one of them. I decorate. That's when I decorated my room. That's that video. Oh, okay. Uh, there's one of them that's like, what's in my drawer? That's one of them. 
talks about what's in my drawer. Uh, and then there's the the year of 2018, but 2018 is spelled out like in letters. If you look up one of those, you'll probably be able to find me. And then like the channel is obviously Jason Ellis. Um, I'm trying to, I might do like a weekly thing where like I post a video. Cause like I, like I said, I've been making a lot of videos recently or have, mm-hmm. I, I have ideas for videos and stuff. So I might keep doing that, but uh, that's about it for me. And then of course you can follow us, the potato cast on our Twitter at cast potato, because we don't have the Twitter, but we're joking is currently infiltrating the people that own the Twitter of the potato cast um but right now we are at cast potato we don't have we haven't even tweeted anything well our first tweet will probably be this episode once it's out right i'll be a link to it um but yeah follow us there our follow us on okay so if you're listening again i kind of talked about this like earlier on in the episode but if you're listening to us on uh spotify you can find us on youtube uh it's at basically the exact same thing as the spotify is hold on my computer's being stupid let's go back to audacity okay um, but so basically, uh, it's the same thing as our, not Spotify. Did I say Spotify the whole time? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I meant SoundCloud. If you're listening to this on SoundCloud, <laughs> then you can, you find our YouTube. It's the exact same thing. Just two words, the potato cast. Um, and then of course, if you're listening on YouTube, uh, you can find our Spotify. It's the potato cast again, but we'll probably, if you're on our YouTube, we can probably link it in the description. And then other than that, uh, is there anything else that you think we have to plug? Fiji, no. thank you for sponsoring us. Thank you, Fiji, and uh, thank you, Disney. Thank you, Disney, for sponsoring us. us. House um, of Mouse is great. What? House of Mouse is great. House of Mouse is fantastic. Mm-hmm. And then uh, that's about it. Also, we uh, again, there wasn't like a guest on this episode. Our message is going to be the guest on the next episode, but we're trying to get uh, guests for the episodes. We don't want to just do it by ourselves. I mean, if we have to, we will. But we want to have uh, interviews with guests. One of our guests kind of, not like flaked out, but we haven't heard from him in a while. So we're going to try to move on. Maybe one day we'll go back to this guest. Um, and then, uh, we'll be, oh, oh gosh, that was close. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll be, then we'll be all set. But, uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we'll, uh, well, we, we won't see you because we record this, but hopefully, uh, you'll stop back again next time and, uh, to listen to episode two and then, yeah, have, hope you have, have a great day. See ya. See ya.